Welcome to episode 13 of Void Prime. I'm kind of ready. <laughs> and is that the title? No, no. <laughs> the title of this one is episode 13, Tied to Her Wooge, where we last left off with our players. They had just met with their mysterious employer for the first time face to face after having done a job tearing into science fiction horror in a mad science lab long forgotten, or maybe it wasn't. And after finally being paid, they swing in and actually get to meet their employer, and she has now offered them a new job. And upon discussing this new job, they've returned back to the ship and talked about a lot of, a lot of other stuff as well. About this time, Exterminator had the idea, how about I... Uh, hold on, what's going on? Oh, I didn't yeah, even see what, what's on the thing. Yeah, I the guess. Shit. Has everybody noticed Clint yet? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's <laughs> pretty awesome. <laughs> I may have had wow. some upgrades. <laughs> That's pretty That's, cool. Oh, um, that follows God. his head movements. Yeah, it's <laughs> oh yeah, he is fully <laughs> bocapped. <laughs> <It's, laughs> first, I thought he just had a wow. loop playing in there, but no, it's actually <laughs> him. Bring on. That's actually amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Where it's are they? Second, it's five second delayed for me because I can see clearly. Where are the units? It, like... Where are what units? Well, it's it's reading sensors mounted on you right now, right? So are they in your earpieces? Where are they? No, it's using my camera. Oh, wow. my gosh. Facial recognition. That's amazing. That's pretty. I'm just going to stare at that. All yeah. I'm not going to get so, anything done. So this was um, a long time. This is actually just an animation blueprint that I had set up to follow the motion capture. But mm -hmm. instead of following facial motions, I tied to my, my mouth movements to an emissive light. So every time I talk, my <laughs> little lights it. light up. <laughs> the little lights go for them. Oh, there they are. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're on the edges. I can't look at it. I won't get anything done. Okay. Oh, exactly. okay. It's just tied to my jaw. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. You know, guys, that's, it's, it's that's just so tied cool. to his jaw. <laughs> it's, it's, wow. it's just... That's all. That's it. That's amazing. Yeah. So let me know when you guys are ready to do yours. <laughs> oh, then, oh uh, interesting side note. Um, if you ever cover up a part of your face, this is what happens. What was that? Oh, he did a flip. Oh, oh my For a second, God. that was his feet. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> so you do have to be careful. Wow. Yeah, that's... That was truly astonishing. Man. Okay. That's pretty I, cool. I gotta get I, back on track. That's awesome. Right. Yeah, I did not I did not put that in the program. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, applause for, for Clint, everybody. That's it's it's good work. Good work, good work. All right. Um <laughs> ready for mine. I, I'll do mine. I want one. <laughs> I want one. <laughs> Every oh. time Jeff takes a drink, his helmet goes up and it's Dale. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> What? That's awesome. Oh. <laughs> it, I got oh. milk in my mustache. <laughs> <laughs> and we have a picture that's canon. <laughs> we do. <laughs> he looks like a manager <laughs> at a Staples. <laughs> 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 or an iron skillet. <laughs> uh, uh, where we last left off, the guys were discussing... Uh, plot honestly like what about this thread what about this thread oh i have this connective tissue from this thing that can that connects to something i experienced that i haven't told you guys yet and there was a little bit of dark secret sharing which has come along great uh, about this time they're like well this is all about holotainment let's talk to tactics tina about the union <laughs> and they called tactics tina only to find that she did not answer her phone uh but a loud uh somebody named nibbins who was consulting with somebody off in the background, uh, had the black box and was talking about salvage for 20 grand. Boom. Deal. And hung up. And we left off with Dale. Uh, the only words coming to Dale's mind were, oh, sugar cookies. Oh, and sugar cookies. <laughs> and so here we are. Um, 
it is... You guys have slept for the night, and uh, about this time, it's your turn at the wheel. Uh, sorry, your turn at the stick, Helios. Mm -hmm. And you are going to give uh, Wit uh, his time off as you guys sort of split piloting. At this point, there's very little about the Bogart and what she can do that you're now... You don't have a working familiarity with. You are generally comfortable flying her. Uh, you feel there are a number of secrets that she still holds for you, but it's mostly about the upper limits of what she can handle and what repairs away from the cockpit would have to be altered or changed or repaired or managed or souped up to make her do those things. Okay. So that's the only thing you're a little uncertain of and that Wit is now transitioning into as much a on-the-spot engineer as a pilot. Uh, as it seems that you can handle one, but not quite the other. So he yeah. is transitioning more into that. There isn't good with a wrench. Just uh, To that end, 09, you know the systems extremely well with the Bogart. And oddly enough, she speaks in three different languages, but she's primarily a uh, VESC base code that she uses, which is weird because she's not Vesk design. So that doesn't make a ton of sense to you guys. Um, but one of the good things about it being Vesk is Vesk code is clean and lacks redundancy, which Planetary Union unfortunately has a lot of. So you guys are at cruising speed and you are currently in orbit around Germano, having taken the night to decide what you're going to do and discuss again in the morning. As you're coming up in the cockpit, and you see like tentacles are like twisting in the tank and then he does a loop to loop and oh oh so i'm i'm okay uh <laughs> you caught me that was oh. a jam it is uh these guys are great uh i think my favorite this one's good but i think cock sweet pit is my favorite that's pretty good Play that one for me next, because uh, I cannot say I'm familiar. Oh, with... oh, yeah, no, no, it's great, it's great, it's great. Okay. So he clicks it over, and it says, Ragged Operatives. And then uh, you hear, I'm a pilot, and I see the stars, and I'm going home to orbit where I find my something now, I'm on my way. Just strap me in, cock sweet pit. Oh, my God. Uh, I love that like 90% of what he do there just gets clipped out. I, and you can corner. see you can see Clint trying to on the spot move the equalizers to allow <laughs> Levi's <laughs> How much was lost? Most of it? Like 75%. 75 percent Seventy five probably. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. You're, um, you're up there. <laughs> you get in close to the mic, it just says no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There was enough in there that we knew where you were going for, though. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're scrolling through. He's got uh, logged up. Master Bad Bliss. And then, girl, Zeno's yes. I had no idea you had such great taste in music. Wit, the, your collection on this ship is fantastic. Why didn't you bust this out earlier? No, I, I, this is the first time I haven't listened to these guys before. I saw oh. that you had uh, Kickstart yeah. Hyper Drive up. And I, I just did a deep. Oh my god! I where have these guys been my whole life? I Teb music is just I don't know. I mean, I love it because it's home. But have you heard Teb music? No, no. Nah, I can't say I have. I don't think you're gonna like it. Uh, oh come on! I'll leave some up for don't you to check it out. You know, I'll leave it, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna go, and then if you like it, we can talk about it later. Great. But, I, I won't I won't feel bad if you don't. Most humans don't love it. But what, Talking about what, the audio range? 
Yeah, you guys can't hear like over half of the uh, sounds. Uh, okay. Yeah, what, what, what if you put your head in a fishbowl? Uh, oh shit! I didn't know you were here. <laughs> Stimmit, what's <laughs> up? Hi. Yeah, you know, he wanders in sometimes. How's breakfast? <laughs> You sneaked uh, up was, on me, man. I, I was <laughs> um, just making coffee. I just, I don't know. You guys were up here talking. I just thought it was yeah. sound amazing. Someone was saying it. That's you? Because what? the coffee has always been made now, and it's not me doing it. So I just want to say thanks, man. I, I may be uh, to my own horn here, to but it is it's something great. I am well practiced at. Yeah, I'm great. very, hey, very any, good at this. One less thing for me. Fantastic. Uh, all right, right so, coffee. That's what I'm all about. Uh, you have the stick. Uh, you guys take yeah. care. I'm out. Uh, he right. goes, uh... Yeah. Oh, I was what were you up to today? We, we going to go uh, Well, I mean, we're still just kind of in orbit. Uh, kicking back. Keeping low profile. And, uh... I kind of figured that would be up to you guys. You're the kill attainment people, and, um... Bianca, hey. shady as she seems... Definitely is good on paying. So, yeah, that's a lot of money. And I mean, uh, I don't know this Kill Sun guy. I saw some of his streams. He seems like a dick. So, yeah, it's hard it, to say because all of it's so edited, you know, like it could be anything in there. Yeah. I, I gotta say, though, I am a little concerned. Uh, her description of this doctor woman, after what we heard from mm -hmm. that gem about, which is still in that hand under a jar that's going okay right uh, i think um okay i don't know dak you seen anything about that hand thing it said something about dragging off my some friend of mine to a prison ship and it, you know I, it, it was it was a uh, it was in there you're doing like sign language or something earlier i'm gonna flip but... over on the con and just check the cameras real quick to cycle to the room that the, the hand's in is the, the old worn finger hand stuff. is sitting inside the glass box tapping in sequence. It's still doing the Morse code shit. Oh, yeah, there it is. See, I told you. Yeah. It's you good. do notice that according to the logs that Wit's been, like, casually keeping in the system, the weird thing is it does seem to be tapping way slower than before. Oh. She might be running out of juice. Same message by the sounds of it when he does log it? Like over mm -hmm. and over again, or is it saying new things? Uh, no, he writes down like tapping out code, and then you see that he writes out the speed it's tapping out at. He's like, it's tapping out message, message cycles every 12 seconds. But the way you listen to this thing, it's not like tap, 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 tap. It's like tap. Tap, tap. So there's no way it would cycle every six seconds. It would take about a minute. This thing is the worst. X is busy fabricating scrap out of whatever random stuff he's got at the moment. <laughs> he's just walking around the ship, like taking shit apart. <laughs> he's he's busy getting everything ready for his junk armor. So Dax he's, is all like, <laughs> he walks up to stuff and you're checking to see if it's a little loose. <laughs> you managed to he's find got, uh, a, a couple. He's got, the, he's got the coffee machine. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. parts in here. We don't this need. Point, put that thing. This there. point, Dax, you've managed to <laughs> uh, junk. You've managed to scrap uh, three cabinet sliding doors and a number of uh, lockdown and tie down rigs to prevent things from flying or moving in a burst, a drift, or zero G. Yeah. Well, we weren't using them anyway, so. <laughs> That's what I'm up to. At this point, Max, what's starting to look real good is the compactor and all the stuff that has been cycled that wasn't scrapped from the from the Shrike when you guys sold that off. Yeah. I finally ran out of former exterminator parts. <laughs> you did. You did. <laughs> there is nothing left of that thing. All I that's left, time. just because you weren't too sure if 
it'll be important or not is you do have the core CPU. Yeah, we can't get rid of that, but it's we went through a lot of trouble to extract yeah, that thing. It's it's crystal, and uh, it looks like it. Who knows? You know, there's data on it still. You just don't. Yeah, you guys have looked we, at it, but we may have to reboot Exterminator one of these days. Yeah. Well, I mean, that thing could have something on it. I mean, it probably was hired out by uh, you know this doctor, right? Well, yeah, I mean, I guess it could have been. We still have that gun from that Shrike sitting on the ship? Yeah, you guys took the gun. Yeah, the chain You guys gun. modded the ship on the next episode, like, as I recall. Oh, yeah. so the gun's on the ship now. I believe oh, nice. so, but oh, we yep. haven't done a ship combat for me to review <laughs> right. the specifics of how the ship is upgraded. But that's why under the ship stuff... I gave you guys the journal entry of the Bogart, and right. I don't know. It was a generator that made this, and I will link you guys to. I'll let me look that up real quick. While you're doing that, I guess we can just do some role play. Yeah, yeah. I don't know where that is this morning. I've been on the con for a little while, though. I appreciate the coffee. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let me let's go rustle him up. I'm sure he's just charging up. Yeah, it's back uh, in the bathroom again. I don't know if that guy's ever coming out. You know, he, he's fine. He'll scream Bianca or something if he needs us. Kept saying something about the mother load. But yeah, I gotta stay up here just in case, like, you know, rogue asteroid or anything like that. But yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. you can raise me on the com. Love that the All guy right. has, like, an official bathroom distress code. Yeah. <laughs> it's. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I forgot what he called the other ones, but yeah, mother load is a big one. There's a Death code. On five. He's got a whole yeah, we'll get... like terminology for these, huh? I mean, when you, when a man does something enough times, he becomes a kind of sewer. And uh, I suppose that's true. You know, they used to say that uh, certain people out in the tribal places they used to have multiple words for snow that we didn't have. Mike's like that only for shit. He's a he's a kind of sewer. You guys hear glass <laughs> shatter yeah. in the bunk of Mike's area. Oh, okay. Oh, probably go check on that. Yeah, why do you guys good. do that? I'll uh, I'll stay put here, but call me if you need me. What will do? The bunk area. Yep, head over there. You head over there, and when you open the, when you try to open the door, the door is jammed to the bunks. Uh, you break it, you bought it. Y'all right back in there? Give me a perception check. Hmm. Yeah, let's see what he's got going on back here today. Oh, that's a good roll. Oh, yeah. You're better than me at this crap. 25. 25, the man said. You hear of the scrabbling of small hits on the deck plating of something moving away from the door and then you hear something faintly in the back go and you hear another thing go guys I think we got gremlins uh, no those ain't gremlins I'm pretty sure the term is goblins I don't know I don't know. I've seen the movies. I think no, that, it's that, Gremlins. I have been running around with Mike for some time now. Trust me, it's Goblins. Goblins. There's only one way to find out. And don't get them wet in case. That's, that's a big no-no. Apparently a die just randomly dropped on the table. I don't know why. Um, okay, last time I opened a door, you got really mad about it and you shot me in the head. So I'll let you do this one. <laughs> Actually, where's 09? Maybe 09 should be here too. Uh, you're the one who knocks. That's 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 me. Here, I'll do it. I open up the door. The door's jammed. Mm -hmm. I will computerize this thing to open. I'll crack it. Hey, 09, you want to come on over here for a minute? That's something weird going on. Uh, that's that's 20. a natural 20 to open a door. Oh, that's man. when we want our 20s to happen. There you go. The doors. You can see that the door had a bunch of 
chunks of metal removed from the frames of your bunks wedged into the slide to pressurize it so it wouldn't it'd be like pennying a door got it and then you see two foot tall bumpy warty zit covered green skin long ears that dangle down to the side big mouth with a bunch of sharp tiny teeth and you can see it's wearing some sort of like skin and it's got like a metal plate and wow, wow. what looks like a cooking pan is he and you I see it. two behind it and then uh. they go running off in the corner and they've dove into your bunk exterminator Come on. Uh, hey, hey, well, those, uh, those were goblins, right? No, they're gremlins. I've seen them before. You sure? Oh, yeah. No, the, man. These things are the worst. All right, so here are the game rules here. Don't feed them after midnight. Probably already past that point. Don't get them wet, though, because they start bubbling out and they get all kinds of nether ones that just jump out of their backs. Wait. Wait. And wait. they like to sing. I don't know. It's real weird. And Wait, these guys so, whoa, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, I have a couple questions for you. One. Yeah? Now, while you're talking, I'm going to go over here and just it, get something to it, capture these things with. Isn't it always after midnight? I don't know how the rules In work space, in space. Is it always <laughs> after midnight? I mean, even if you're on a planet, it's always, like if it was midnight and then it's like one o'clock, it's after midnight. Maybe like, it's like high I noon on some place out there. I don't know. But when is it okay to feed them again? You never feed the gremlin. That's the, that's the rule. Just don't feed them. Well, then why do you have to classify after midnight? It's in the damn movie. I don't know. I didn't write the movie. Oh, boy. Okay, sorry. I didn't mean to snap at you there. I just I hate when these things get in the bunks. They, they just tear everything up. They get into my things. It's the worst. Okay. Um, so hmm. You got gremlins. I don't know. Spicy I've seen... got goblins. So let's take a look here. I got the big shiny belt buckle. Maybe they'll be like interested in that. Let's see. Oh, hey, like... hey, you little gremlin people. What you doing back there? Come on out of my bunk. Give me a. Give me a diplomacy check. Oh, yeah. An eight. <laughs> then one throws a knife at you. <laughs> Ow. I told these guys are real malicious. <sighs> All right. 19. Hold on. What? You're rolling 19? On the die. Damn. Oh, snap. Okay. You're about Sweet. to get knifed, son. You take a dagger. You take three points of piercing damage. Oh, you. Ow. Man, and that thing looks rusty and encrusted with other stuff. Man, who who had this knife in here? This I mean, a fortitude save. All right, this is probably got a disease oh. component to it, huh? Yeah. Oh. I got a plus three to that. You're gonna um, need it. It's a fourteen, apparently. <laughs> you fail. Oh what? no! You fail on an easy DC. Uh, you roll a natural two. I mean, <laughs> wow. Yeah, you did roll two. Uh, Wait a minute. Does okay. anything else apply? <laughs> okay, now now X, just hold real still. I'm gonna pull it out. He's like, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Man, that. Oh man, that feels wrong. You take oh, three you points of poison damage as you feel a uh, hot, uh, just burning sensation start to course through your arm where that thing uh -oh. hit you. Oh no. I Let let me know when 09 arrives, please. 09, you have reached the back end of the kerfuffle. Hey, I heard uh, someone scream. Yeah, I got stabbed by a gremlin. <laughs> you can bring up... You can bring up <laughs> I'm going to do that right now. <laughs> okay, you see three little things that have mobbed together in a corner, and they appear to be stacking together stuff they've found. Uh. And one, and you see that 
Dale Exterminator has a, a rusty looking knife sticking out of his arm. Oh God, there's three of these little hey, I'll get ugly there. bastards. Hey, oh. he is. Now, I'll just set, set the record straight here, Helios. Would these be gremlins or goblins? Uh... I mean, me, me and X are in a hot debate about this right now. He's got a knife in his arm, but you know, these kind of things happen. I'm gonna go. Right. What are you gonna do, Exterminator? Unless somebody else engages in combat, you're the only one in combat with these things. All right, have it your way, you little <laughs> pointy teeth and bow fucker. I've never heard of goblins. He I says never you can't feed them after violence. midnight and you can't get them wet. So I'm really interested to see how X is gonna handle these. All right, well, can you space them after midnight? Because I'm up for that. Yeah, they love that shit. Hold on a second. And I'm going to whip out the old sheath armor. And I'm <laughs> pulling out the katana. <laughs> you see, we had an easy one way, or we could have gone this way, and you chose uh, death. <laughs> should I come up there? Should I stay on the controls here? Uh, it's up uh, to you if you want to witness the work. <laughs> just, you know, um, just keep it steady. Okay. Hold the hey, helmet down wit. slowly. Uh, there might be violence on the ship in a second, so just uh, maybe stay where you're at. And these assholes get here anyway. There's, where I'm at. Yeah, there's like goblins what kind or of violence. He called them goblins. Ha! See, it's goblins or goblins. gremlins. Goblins or gremlins in Mike's room. That's like gremlin. Is that what we're calling him now? I don't know. X got stabbed. Guys, I've seen. Sex worker stabbed you. Sex worker stabbed. They're like two feet tall. They're like stacked on top of each other. There's three of them. Oh, Mike's into what now? I don't know. They stabbed X. <laughs> okay. Oh, all right. Check. Did we pick up anybody when we landed? We're calling sex workers gremlins. I don't like it, but okay. Like all right, these gremlins. Are. If you are sentient beings worthy of respect, you need to talk right now because I'm about to cut your fucking heads off. Give me an intimidation. <laughs> I'm so intimidated. A four. <laughs> My action in combat. <laughs> and then you see the one with the knives is Man, blocking the other two. And the other two, one is now sitting... Uh, chicken style on the other one's shoulders and has pulled back the elastic off of its underwear and has fashioned it into a slingshot with its own arm. Okay. And it's got a hunk of metal in there. Levi, I turn all of the monitors on in the room and play back the feed where Exterminator threw this giant fuel container and is incinerated like 30 bugs and i'm going to repeat the same thing he just said using his helmeted voice okay. nice uh you give me an intimidation check uh and exterminator what is your like we'll use your professor profession killer attainment what's the bonus to your profession kill attainment not great it's a it's a three <laughs> it's a three so you can add yeah. a three to your role clint better than his charisma yep i'm going to attempt this hi bot oh <laughs> not intimidating in any language <laughs> you manage to upload the wrong file and you end up uh Cutting off. He gets destroyed. <laughs> you cut off the hollow feed. You cut off the hollow feed to the ship, and you manage to damage uh, three of the monitors with a minor short overload. Well, this is my intimidate check, not a computer check. Uh, You're trying to intimidate using technology through the monitors, and you rolled a natural one, right? Right. Okay. Why would I hurt equipment? I didn't get an equipment roll. I got an intimidate roll. You know what I mean? I the equipment, though, right? But, oh, uh, yeah. I mean, I guess you're still trying to intimidate yeah. him, though, right? 
The end effect you're trying is to intimidate, and it right. was clever, so I gave you a bonus using the guy's own reputation. But because you rolled a nat one, three of the monitors are busted. Okay. All right. Boy, this, Tried. I'm going to go to the council. I'm going to open up every single door between me and there, lean over my shoulder, knowing the exact layout of the room and looking at the monitors and fire a magic missile at full round blast all the way through with the one of the slingshot. <laughs> Just slam through all the hallways right at it. That's <laughs> ridiculous. But okay. <laughs> Roll your damage. Pretty because good. he's moving, he gets three missiles. Oh, it's funny. He's straight into my chair. <laughs> yes, it's a full attack. Oh. Five, Man. three, and five for a total of 13. <laughs> five, three, and five. Uh, the slingshot you knock one. two on their ass with heavy wounds, and one takes a shot that ricochets off the side of his face. And it, and it, it takes a piece of him with it. And then they that all right drop there. their weapons. Oh, okay. That's what I thought. Where'd you come from? Oh man, they're just the idiot ones. All right, hey, you got a special room around here. Come on out of here. These bunks ain't for you. We pick these things up on Rablix. I have no idea, man. We must have, right? What's that? We must have gotten these guys planet side, or else we would have gotten them. I don't know. I mean. Maybe Wyatt had them in him or something? I don't know. Yeah. So I don't know. These are weird. I'm trying to think of anything we had. Maybe they have been festing, but come on, little things. Let's go on over here. I'm going to take over the airlock. Okay. <laughs> I got a special room for you. you and come on okay. in here. You guys can chill out, do your own thing. Okay. Here's uh, here's some of these. Uh, Hold on. What do I got As they're walking past 09. I got these Onaki pop pop penguins over here for you. One fails grabbing at you, O9, and jostling to see if part of you can be removed. Yeah, you get, probably don't want to let them touch you. They're just little junkers. Take everything. They remind me of this. They were attempting to scrap me. They yeah. help. And then while you're looking at that one, and he gets him, come on, come on, and moves him down further the hall, you get an alert that a servo is missing from your left thigh. I unload with my rifle and start <laughs> shooting all of them. <laughs> oh. Just hit. Just, just hit at this point. <laughs> they are stealing from me. <laughs> they are. They're trying to steal you. Twenty-six. <laughs> they are real dead. Oh, 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 How did you do that much damage? <laughs> and you, just, you shoot a smoldering hole through the, all three <laughs> like a rail oh, gun, <laughs> and do, 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 they all fall. I walk over direction. and I pick up my servo. Okay, was... it was it was in the cheek. Of the second one. <laughs> it was in yeah. his left mouth cheek. Oh, just gonna take a moment here just to... I literally rolled a five to steal something off you, and the other one rolled a nat 20. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, if, if goblins are real, does that mean everything else the Spicy Mike has been rambling on about for like a year now is also real? Like, no. And... Do a quick check with the computer system. I don't know if we have a name for the computer in here, but uh, computer is Mike on board. You get a readout. Uh, the computer on the Bogart is not, will take voice command, but doesn't speak back to you. Sure. There are little readouts. So the readout you get is that Mike is not on board. Ah, uh, boy, the whole suck. He's uh, Mike might be planet side, guys, because he ain't on board. I swear he was here last night. Wasn't he just he in the code mode? I mean, I thought I heard it. Maybe it's just the echoing remnants of man shitting lost. But wait, though. I mean, is it 
possible that he has fallen through another toilet? Look, well, I, I don't. There are many multiverses out there. You could fall through one toilet, come out in another place where there are knolls. It just happens. The, this doctor is about portal tech, right? I mean, yeah. And Mike was in a tube. Yeah. Well, I, I guys, I think it's simpler than that. I think he's just a. Uh, he's got a special someone, you know. Need a little private time. Oh, you think he's back down Bianca? Yeah. I don't know why he put the gremlins in the room, but, you know, whatever. Keep us busy, he, I guess. Is he going to be pissed wish? that you killed his gremlins? I grabbed the gremlins and take them through the airlock and throw them into space. <laughs> and their corpses float endlessly. And I begin cleaning the mess that I made in the hallway. You clean the mess that you made in the hallway. And begin fixing the monitor. You know, there's probably more of them. Like, those things, if there's like a wet spot or like food or uh, I can't remember the other. There was another rule. I don't remember what it was off the top of my head. But if, if, if any of those things happen, they just start multiplying. And there's just like millions of them. They all have different personalities. And like, I don't know, they pretend to oh. be like oh, nine people. As you're repairing, you got the first monitor taken care of. The second monitor, you're getting set. It was simply like a little overcharge thing, and you just repolarize the screen itself, and it'll be fine. And then you see in Mike's bunk movement as his blanket bubbles up as something appears under his blanket, rising up out of the bed. I and you hear. Move. I removed the blanket with the barrel of my rifle. <laughs> and then you see um, a wooden club fall out of its hand, and it goes like this. And you see it's standing on the bunk. We have another a solid one. bunk. Yes, it's not. Oh, man. What's his deal? Perhaps I can... Hmm. He's already looking at you like... Oh. I rip his finger off. <laughs> <laughs> Do not touch the equipment. And then you see when he spits on his stump, it scabs up immediately and stops bleeding. And he seems not as traumatized as somebody should be having lost a finger. You see, really quickly, he rips off a piece of cloth and he pulls out a chunk of rope and he sticks it on and makes a floppy rope finger. Man, that's weird. These things are everything that Mike described them as. Can you please keep uh, a weapon trained on him? Let me yeah, go to yeah. the computer. I go to the ship's computer, and I attempt to look for any kind of logs of the language that he is using, possibly finding a Google Translate. <laughs> me a computer search. This will be difficult. Difficult as a 27. Holy fuck. Now, would this be... Um, would I have the bonus because I'm attempting to identify creatures? Yeah. Or no? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So this would be five. a biological, cultural re relevant thing. Add a five to this. Fuck me. Wow. It's not your night. You go down a rabbit hole of lore. Oh, shitty. And... I get a 21 and I still bodge. <laughs> 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 and just. A ancient nonsense and you don't find anything <laughs> these it's creatures just, are unknown to this universe these creatures are uh, unknown you to this see universe. the problem is is that's because you're looking for real languages have you tried the fake imaginary languages we like do not store those in databases well let me try i'll zap up and look up bullshit languages <laughs> is that culture also yeah it is you know, <laughs> sure <laughs> 
Nope. That's going to be a one again. Uh, you find Plurbian and Keck. Well, it's clearly speaking Goblin. Yeah, um, I don't think that's what it is, but clearly that's what right. that's what they are. I mean, that's this is what Mike has been talking about for a year. Look at Hold it. on. Where did that one come from? He was under the blankets. Under the blanket. Oh, who's bed? Is that Mike's bed? My bed? Oh, uh, wait. No, Mike's I bed. get it now. Maybe Mike's you're bed. right. There's probably a wet spot on Mike's sheets. Oh. Uh, oh, that's. Uh, you he, he, he was covered in goo. Oh, man. You remember that? Maybe you're right. Maybe it's a maybe, gremlin. Wait a minute. Maybe you picked him up from that tube, like you said, after all. All right. Well, all right. Gotta take care of the infestation. Mm, wish I had my gas. All right. We just, we just have to go ahead and run this one through real quick. Just gonna <laughs> give me an old stabaroo. We just have to like. That's what you mean. You're just gonna stab the one that's in the room? Yeah. Okay. We just gotta. A swarm strike? Yeah. I'm, you, you just beheaded him. Shing! Gugugug. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't always kill them, but All sometimes right. it gets the job done. Are these what? considered vermin? As you kill this one, you see a single pointy something poke through the bed as if the bed itself is solid and phased up out of it as a single ear, then part of the head. Here. We got a portal, guys. <laughs> it sees you guys and drops back down through the bed. We should just airlock the whole mattress. I, I'm starting to agree with you. Hold on, yeah, let me take a look I, at this I real quick. The I put my hand down into it to see if it goes anywhere. You feel something warm and kind of comforting, like you're moving a hand through like. Warm feels like jello. Warm pudding. Yeah, warm pudding, but it's more it's resistant. Warm pudding in here. Thanks. And then as you get Blobby. about a full arm length down up to your shoulder, you mm -hmm. feel just past it hard stone. Wait a minute. There's, there's more to this place. It's not just pudding. There's some kind of rocky substance down the bottom. Maybe a hard chocolate layer. I don't know. Let me go find out real quick. I'm going to go through. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody take your headphones off. Except for Pam. Very Dale thing to do. <laughs> okay. Dale. Yeah. You jump through. And then as you come out, vroom, 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 you go rolling on a hard stone floor. And all of a sudden you look up and you see, you see 50 goblins or oh. gremlins or uh -huh. noctwarns or bodkins or nerpies. It could be any of those. Oh, and shit. you're in an entire warren of them. And then what is more upsetting is when you turn around and look at how you got here, you flumped out of a gel covered, almost nude, spicy Mike. The pudding oh. was Mike. What? You just arm fist entered Mike and exited him. Do I want to know which orifice? <laughs> Roll perception. I gotta get back through this damn thing. Twenty-eight. His asshole. <laughs> oh. Well, only one way out. <laughs> Mike, I hope you're ready for this. Cause I'm not. <laughs> I'm clamoring back out of here. Right. Fast as I can. <laughs> You go back out the bed. Uh, oh man! You can see, uh, <laughs> that noise as exterminator comes up through the bed, and he is covered in a faint brown slick as. I, I don't know what hail looks like directly, but I think that was it. Um, hey, chocolate, is it? No, no, mm mm, mm mm. It don't, it, it don't, it don't smell like chocolate. No, I, I didn't know a man could fit through that. Uh, 
but there it was i did it and uh yeah we're gonna have to close this thing up but uh guys mike's ass is inverted in there somewhere what I, I don't know how to describe it any other way but uh, you know how there's portals well I've always theorized maybe Mike just maybe he has just an amazing ecology in his stomach, but I think he's got another dimension to conjure shit. And there it was. It was filled with fucking gremlins. And are I, you suggesting that gremlins are his normal flora? I I don't I'm I'm saying maybe you could poke your head in there and find out if you want. Because that's that's some aggressive flora. Look, I don't know entirely what you guys said over comms, but it sounded like something about a portal to the inside of Mike's ass is in his room, and we definitely need to do something about that right now. Yeah, Mike's in there. Like, he's just... Should man. we get him? You can't pull a man out of his own asshole. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> now, what if... I had what never questioned... Him? I had never questioned in all my years. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> <laughs> Levi's dead. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Gotta pull with that one. That hurt. I, I never in all my years questioned where everything goes. We need to use a toilet. Like I, it, like I just assumed it all air locked out somewhere. But are you like suggesting that somehow Mike can create portals from any toilet to this pocket realm where his shit just goes? I, I, I don't know, man. Sometimes you just gotta accept some people are legends. Just what he does. So, what do we do? Lock his room? Kill the oxygen to it? What? I, I, I don't want to be the one to say this, but I'm pretty sure we all share the same room. You do? Gosh. <laughs> you guys have seen the schematic. Yeah. You guys all have one room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All your, there is only one person on board who actually, quote, sleeps in a separate... No, two people on board who sleep in a separate location. Yep. Wit, Wit sleeps wherever he feels like in his tube, and O9 has a charging station. The rest of us deal with... <laughs> I am just glad the Bogard and I have bunk beds. Yeah. I mean, we have a bunk, but they're not bunked beds. Right, right. Nobody's on top of anybody. You guys are all like five feet from each other. Well, I mean, could man. you imagine, though, if we were in your bed was the one underneath Mike's at this point? I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, let me ask you this. In your professional opinion, exterminator, does uh, that need exterminating or what do we do? And there's like a hundred of those fucking things in there. Oh. Like, I think they're just going to keep... There's two things I know about wow. this. One, no one's paying for that job. And, and you guys two. see, firing out of the bed, a human skull bounces off the back wall and rolls around on the ground. Dropping mics. And then another one. Uh. Alright, oh, I tell you what... Well, they're so, going to probably eat Spicy Mike if we don't do something here. You said he's down there, yeah? Uh, I flipped the mattress. Oh, uh, alright. Mike is, is the tunnel. Uh, I think he is the gateway. Uh, oh. You flip the mattress. The mattress flips over. Flump. Does it still work? If I touch it at the top, is it the still The back side of the mattress doesn't work. It's oh, a solid mattress. Oh, there you go. Problem solved. <laughs> it's just yeah. that easy. Modern problems solved for modern mattress? solution. Well, I suggested that, but I mean, it could be Mike. Is that gonna hurt Mike somehow? Wait, no, I got a plan. What if yeah. we tied hey, the mattress Chris. in the back of the ship? You guys see the mattress raises itself up right up in the middle as some sort of long rod lifts it up 
And you see the rod has a fuzzy end that's lifting it up. And you see a single... <laughs> and then it drops back down. All right, we, we, we should probably, if this if it's connected to Mike, we don't want to kill Mike. We got any place we can put this and like just lock it up? It's like, so here's these things are going to come plan. out and tear stuff apart if we don't. Here's the plan. We'll take the mattress, right? Yeah. We'll open up the airlock, and we'll just wedge the mattress in there, and we'll just get them to all come on out of there with some food into the airlock and when how many did you say 100 it might have been and i'm not entirely sure they're all gremlins what else is in there well there's bodkins there's uh flumps there's uh nerpies uh, yeah yeah the nerpies or herpes i can't remember which one he called them bimble uh, dump yeah i mean they all have like poop related names there was a like, tolly knocker in there too yeah, tally knockers and a tally poops and. All right. Well, in that case, I guess it's brownies. We gotta go. We airlock the mattress. <laughs> okay. You are you guys gonna put the airlock? Are, are you discussing a plan or are you doing a plan? I don't think we should do that. What What I would like to do is just to secure the mattress outside of the ship, so anything that comes out will immediately get sucked into space. But Every time we go through re-entry or anything else, we're just gonna have flaming gremlins launching out the side of the ship at all times, just out into space, into the air. It'll be raining. It'll be raining gremlins on Gramano when we enter. I mean, hey, speaking of which, we needed a way to make Kiloton somehow disappear. What if he gets overrun by gremlins? Wait, That's what if we idea. put him in the mattress? These are both good ideas. And uh, hey, Whit, can you check the con? I think I need to go check this out. We have we have a pocket dimension a inside of Mike's mattress. And see, and it's he appears in the tube next to you, and you see yeah, his tentacles come out. Yeah. His tentacles have like almost hands at the end of them, each one. He sits in. He's like, yeah, that's yeah, good. Enjoy that. Yeah. No, I'm not. Sounds gonna, awful. It's gonna be great. Just clean nice. it up, please. Oh uh, yeah. And as I get there, I'm going to give you just eight mega vitamins X. Okay, thanks. So yeah, take, we... take as many as you need. I'm going to hand out eight to everybody else, actually, as well. Everybody's got eight mega vitamins. All right. Those are for hit points, right? Not yep, stamina. Can, uh, no. Correct. They're only for hit point damage. All right, so. But that also count as a meal. So, how about. How about if we find some way to strap this mattress to somewhere dangerous? until we get to Gramano, and then we'll unleash the little buggers onto Kiloton. And maybe draw him out of hiding from his... I think it's Dustin froze. <laughs> Locked up on us there. We had a very large bout of lightning just now. I wonder oh, really? took out his computer. Oh, yeah, no. Might have. Well, we can... Maybe we could put the, the mattress in like a box or something so there's no space for the little critters to come out. And then we could take it with us. Yeah, he's real froze, isn't he? Could be. I I like the idea of using these things against Kiloton somehow. I mean, can't time to really much of anything, can you? No one even... Oh, oh, I said they're not even from this universe. Yeah, I... Oh, man. It's... I don't even understand how what happened happened. It's like a being John Malkovich kind of situation. I don't want them stripping the ship. Agreed. Yeah, I don't either. All right, let, well, let's find out if we got Your something to put this mattress in. Uh oh. His internet might be dead. He says his computer's on. Oh. Oh. Lovely. No, Clint's fine. Yeah, the classic two people in the same town, not even very far apart from one another. Yeah, that's what Clint said. All right, I'll tell you what. Let's take like take a, a break. 10 minute break right now and see if we can give you time to get resituated, okay? That's like a good idea. Between two sheets. <laughs> yeah. All right. Good luck. <laughs> We're taking a break. We Bye, shall try everybody. That. We'll be right All back. All right. Be back. We are back. Welcome back.
things theoretically work because Ogle has an awesome phone. Oh, yeah. So See, it's ad quote. Ah, that's the answer. But ad is in the beginning. Wow. Okay. Mm-hmm. And so. now, what do you guys decide to do with the mattress? Um, you were debating what to do with said mattress. Just leave it outside the ship for now, like tied up, and when we figure out where Kiloton is, throw a mattress at him. I, I think if we put it in one of those boxes, you know, uh, you know, like those mattresses in a box kind of situation where they unfurl all and then they inflate themselves. I got it. This is easier than I thought. Finally, we'll just enter the Kila cage. Yeah. And we'll just bring the mattress with us. As your, as your weapon? Yeah. And we'll throw it in the middle of the kill cage. And all the little... Gob... Grib... Whatever they are. Yeah. Dumplings? Uh, they'll just all come apart and on out. <laughs> It'll cause chaos and mayhem. And then in the middle of it, we'll just have to, you know, find some way to, you know, I don't know, like... Off the top rope, suplex something, you know, kill a ton down into the mattress itself. I, I like, I like the speed you're coming at it with. Uh, get some nice and, music behind it. Yeah, then we just have to, you know, I guess kill all the other kill tainers because only one man's allowed to come out, right? I mean, yeah, well, you don't yeah, miserations and all that stuff. The dumplings can do that for us, though, right? <laughs> I mean, maybe. Um, I fully vote. We call the mattress flips up. That's perfect. And you guys see a massive furry something leap out of it, dragging a long tail. It's furry. Mm -hmm. That's got to be a knoll. Now you might be right on the gremlins, but that's a knoll. He's talking. It was leaping up an exterminator. What what, what the hell? What is this thing? With a natural one, the thing misses because it's me. And perfect. Hits the wall. <laughs> What's it look like? It looks like the biggest rat you've ever seen, Dale. This is a rat the size of a Labrador. I'm gonna try and telekinetically chuck something at it with an attack of 13. It's a okay. rodent of unusual size. It is a rodent of unusual size. Ow. What's going on here? <laughs> Do I hit a mo- 13? Oh. You crumple in. It's left leg. <laughs> Gotta stab it with fire. I just. <laughs> oh man, I'm starting to agree with that. Just, just, just catching the shot. mocap. That's awesome. Man, okay. Well, I say we contain it in something so it, nothing can slide out of it, and you then have to stab it, box it and up. it it dies. Because stuff, I don't remember seeing that thing in there, but uh, I think right, we just put it in a mattress box. Let's all right, let's stick it in something. Let's get something. What we got? Yeah, we'll find something to contain this thing in. Yeah, let's search the ship for something nice and mattress sized. Well, there's like there are <laughs> because it's established steel crates in the cargo hold. <laughs> Perfect. And I'm that's. Any of those is more than big enough to hold this. And as long as you can keep it, you know, sealed up good. All right. Great full of dumplings. Let's plop it in there. (laughs) (laughs) Seal it all up. In the time you guys drag it down, three more human skulls shoot out of it. And, uh, and what looks like a dead dog or part of a dead dog. Oh, come on. <laughs> this yeah, why is, why gonna is be, it human skulls? This is going to be glorious. Then you guys shove in the case. All right. Can you all claim this is coming out of Spicy Mike's asshole? <laughs> That's what I heard. Uh, actually, Dale claimed this is coming out of Spicy Mike's asshole. I well, am not I'm, making hey. such a claim. Dale's the only one who went in there, so... If you want to verify that when you walk in there, it's the fudge tunnel, that's that's out on you. I don't recommend it. I went in there, and I came back once. 
I don't think I'm gonna do a second time. Wait, we have That's number two. We don't do been, number twos around here. We, we have all been subject to Spicy Mike special blend. Does Dale smell like Spicy like, Mike? Uh, <laughs> You get a bonus on this roll. And this is the best content we've ever <laughs> talked about, and I don't care. Can we get some kind of drone to go up there? Like a roto rooter <laughs> thing or something? Drone. Yeah, you guys have um I, I think <laughs> oh, nine has a drone. a drone. I think one of you salvaged another drone. I think Exterminator got one too, I'm not Maybe. sure. We have oh, multiple God, camera like drones. Yeah. yeah, you guys have yeah, and and Dax has a bunch of camera drones. We could uh, we can send a drone up there just to make sure everything looks healthy. Put on a rope that is practical, like uh, a bee. I, look, it would probably be best as a snake. <laughs> I'm yeah, not certified to do colonoscopies. <laughs> I got a snake. I just... We'll leave that <laughs> for the doctor when we find her. Yeah. Hey, I got these gardening gloves. You do have gardening gloves. Uh, yeah, I'm not going in there. <laughs> this is like Shut, we that movie Me and John Malkovich where they find a door that lets you go inside of John Malkovich's body. Yep. That was yeah, you missed me making that joke, I think, because that happened like right after yeah, the internet went yeah, down. Yeah, you said you uh -oh. already caught it. You got you guys should run a talk show. You guys are like so like minded. Ding. All right, so we got this. If you guys want to take a look in there, you, you be my guest. But um, otherwise, I think we. I'm going to take a shower. It's, it's what disgusting. You that's a that's a good call. Should we uh, land planet side? Do you guys need to buy anything? I could check up, see if I could get a bead on kiloton. Uh, planet side, I can yeah, I, I need to get my nose just removed. Like. Man. I'm pretty sure that we shouldn't have too much of a problem finding the killer cage, considering he put out a galaxy-wide advertisement. Oh, X. Well, to get right. as many kilotainers there as he can. So I have a feeling he'll be quite easy to find. Like this shouldn't even take a roll. This should just be automatic. It should be a big bright neon light somewhere. You can't miss this shit. Then we have that way. Or... The location. We stop. Does it first? like baked into the ad? Are, are links that give you full coordinates of location of where it is. I wouldn't mind getting some cyberware. I like that we rolled to shower. <laughs> How successful of a job did you do? It's a life science check to shower. <laughs> I, I got an 18 on it. All and right. you, you beat an easy DC. You are not rolling good tonight. It's physical science to remove the stench, <laughs> though. <laughs> I rolled pretty good on 18, I thought, but okay. The DC for level 5 for an easy challenge is 17. I'm not making that up. It's Wow. Yeah. Game, okay. game skills with you. The game skills well, okay. with you, which is one of the frustrations yeah. of Paizo. All right. You gotta love that. So, uh, exterminator showers and... We'll look up a good port to get some cyberware for the gentleman. Uh, on Gramano. On Gramano. You have a number to choose from. Let me give you a list. <laughs> Is this the same place where you got yours? So you can uh, take us back to the same guy? Well, where I got mine was in a port that was nearby where we met Bianca. It's where we dropped off, wherever we dropped off, uh... Willie? Wyatt. Wyatt. Willie. Where we dropped off Wyatt, that's where I got mine. Oh, okay. Good deal, quick and easy, like I like it. So, uh, said not to poke it, which I've been trying to avoid doing, but you know, every once in a while, you just really, like, want to, but don't. No existential crises lately, so that's good. Seems to be settling in all right. Yeah, well, that's, that's plus. It's, it's, you know, it's been a rough kind of weeks, two or three here in a row. Yeah. It kind of gave me a bit of perspective. Not gonna lie. I'm just questioning the metaphysics of this, but if there's a pocket realm inside of Spicy Mike's ass, we put Kiloton in there. Is he just gonna blast his way out of him? 
I mean, well, I don't know what happens when a man goes into the brown hole, but it's it's bound to be bad if you stay in there too long. I mean, I mean you got you got to worry a little bit. Is he gonna die from a lack of oxygen? Or you was a be, lot of methane in there. Could be delivering into his best episode of Killertainment yet. Inside of Spicy Mike. Excuse me, Mr. Exterminator. Huh? My medical logs state that you may have a high chance of pink eye. Oh, Perhaps you no. should take some antibiotics. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, pop a mega vitamin. All right, let me... Hey, you know, that, that rusty spoon or whatever it was went in my arm. That that wasn't does too it, good, none either. Oh, yeah. Does it work on stink eye? <laughs> I dropped in the message. Uh, sorry, it didn't really format well because of Rule 20. So the first two, Nawalu and Laloni, are Lashunta owned, founded. They're the oldest spaceports on Gramano. The Planetary Union one is called Alice 20. And there is a TMC owned and operated spaceport through that leads directly to Apex by TMC. I'm pretty positive the one I got mine at was Nuwalu. Yeah. But well, Nuwalu is also where you where dropped off Wyatt. Yes, that's correct. So we want to avoid that town for that reason. That is also yep. there. That. And Apex is one of the places where uh, Furious George was going. That, so we could yes. go there and double up on it. That sounds good. You guys could uh, do a little shopping. We could check around a bit, see what we hear. I like yeah. that idea. That's a lot of course for Apex. Uh, right. As you guys are approaching, you get a message. Uh, you see a official uh, send a hail. It is on a TMC uh, a mestry signal band, which is sort of like a greeting agent uh, trying to give you both uh, docking location and general information. Thanks. Go ahead and take that in and the docking coordinates they give us and line us up to park. Welcome to Apex by TMC. Uh, please take port 72. I'm very sorry that uh, right now things are a little hectic outside, but if you can just give us 10 minutes, uh, we should be able to dissuade a incoming flock of screamers. You got it. Uh, we will hold position, Apex. Just let us know. In about five minutes, you get a notification, and you do see on your motion trackers, there appears to be a flock that's currently cruising in direction of Apex, vaguely, about five kilometers out, and each of these things has four wings they're reptilian for the most part and each one is about 50 feet and 50 feet uh wingspan Damn. And there's like 30 of them and then you see they get close within about a, a single ma a single kilometer and then they just divert away and then you guys get the signal coming in Ooh, that look nasty all right we're uh, heading in gentlemen Welcome to Apex by TMC, gentlemen. Uh, please feel free to enjoy any and all TMC-sponsored products. And your docking fee today is going to be 500 credits. All right. Uh, thank you, TMC. We will be parking and we'll go ahead and pay that fee. Is that uh, up front or before we leave? Uh, that needs to be paid up front, and that will slot you for a day of docking. All right. All right, splitting it four ways, yeah. taking out of my credits. So All right. right. Helmet on. I got to pull my sheet back up. I haven't done that yet. It's time for public facing. Oh, yeah, you're right. I summoned my junk armor for the day. Take Ooh. that spell off the list. Anymore. Starting to get a little light on the credits. But, you know, that's to be expected. That's why we got to do more work. Well, Carolyn Carver. Let's see what we can find. Welcome to Apex, everybody. Happy shopping. All right. All right, let's head to the uh, the slicer, whatever you want to call them. We'll be right back, Wit. We're going to purchase some gear for this next job.
Fair enough. Uh, am I going to have to worry about... You guys didn't set something up with Panacorp. I don't have anybody coming to, like... No. Okay. Okay, no. good. good. I mean, not... I didn't. I, I yeah. just don't want to sit through another one of those, okay? That oh, was a wonderful not. discount we received, though, just to sit and listen to their proposal. Oh, God. Okay, um... <laughs> oh, nine. Synth's definition of patience is different than Organic's definition of patience. Just listening to that sentence was terrible for my patience. I'm truly sorry. But uh, I understand. But yeah. Okay, okay, all right. And then you guys dock, and you see, though they set you at 72, it's because there are a number of docks that have been destroyed. Oh. It looks like uh, there are piecemeal docks. So there's a giant uh, synthetic cliff face construction that's built off of this huge wall that surrounds Apex. And all of Apex is built on top of a rather large bluff overlooking this gargantuan canopy of trees. So the top of the bluff is parallel with the canopy of trees. And then Apex is built on top of that. And you guys are met at the wall. The wall surrounding Apex is about 30 feet tall. And all the ships line up in a half circle around the wall. And you can see only a third of the dock ports are functional. The rest have been trashed or destroyed, and you can see the number system makes absolutely no sense. One is called 72, one is 15, one is six, uh, and you see that six has been painted in gold. And you guys dock. Uh, you guys are greeted by TMC Tex. Hello, welcome to Apex by TMC. Is there anything you need us to look over or repair or any services we can render your ship? No, we can top off your fluids. We can check your pressures. Be on gas. Might just check with wit on that. I mean, assume the ship's okay. We assure you, if you can go through TMC, uh, we can give you a much better discount than the local Kim and Go. All right. BMC is the best gear we got. Hey, hey he knows it. All right, well, good on you. We got a pilot on board. Uh, speak with him. See if we need a fill up before we head out, and we'll uh, work out the difference. And you can bill us. Oh, thank you very much. All right. And they go on board. <sighs> Fuck it. This place is full of humans, Lashunta, and for the first time, you see Teb. And Teb here. Not many, but you see three that are around the docks, and they are in these tiny mechs. Uh, it looks like a massive, about the size of, about the size of a dining room table, tank of brine, and it's got four legs. And then uh, a pretty sleek and not as bulky as you would think apparatus on the back that appears to be doing some sort of gas filtration. Hmm. You see, these things are moving around. They're about the size of, I guess, basically like a golf cart that's walking instead of rolling so, around. Is it basically like power armor for them? It doesn't look like this thing could fight well. They are about as fast as a person can walk quickly you've never actually seen one move faster than that but you've never seen one in a crisis scenario uh dax you've seen these before helios you haven't uh exterminator you've seen these and then you've seen that one time that um there was that subway station that done been haunted by all bunch of goldfish swimming around a bunch of brain juice I hate when that happens so <clears throat> these three tab are moving from the dock into the financial district 
Uh, I will, I will drop all the stuff. Oh, because that's the easiest oh. thing to do. Stuff. So you guys move into town and blam. Blamo. Hold on, I haven't done it yet. As this, as a corpo city goes, this one seems smaller than most corporate cities. It's like the local fauna takes a toll on this place. Mm -hmm. So we're here maybe. trying to pick up on some fr old friend of yours who's supposed to be in this town. Cur Curious George, Curious George. What was this guy's name? Curious, Curious George. George. Curious. That's all the businesses you see that have a large holographic sign directing your attention to it. However, you also see a number of street vendors. Uh, what's odd about the street vendors for those of you that are unfamiliar or have generally avoided Corpo cities, is they are at kiosks that are preset, like the island kiosk in a mall. Oh, oh looks man. like I gotta head to Cyber Chase Modulab. Looks like you probably find what you need over there. At Where the Cyber Chase Modulab, you find. This. Okay. Oh, Morphic skin. That sounds. I'm uh. Dex is uh, gonna head over to the Quadens Yard, the resale shipyard, and salvage, so I can resupply on junk. <laughs> Do they have personal upgrades, Levi? What is on the li Give me a diplomacy check. Jeez. Okay. Four. Uh, I'm really sorry, mate. Uh, fresh all out. I. Uh, it seems that it's been a little bit crazy around here, uh, especially with the the weather turning into the bad season. A lot of people are just uh, eating up most of my inventory. So I'm doing what I can, but uh, uh, what you see is what I've got. All right, let me take a look through this stuff. I promise you, though, you. it's all top notch. So, uh, you go to uh, buh, 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 buh. it's a shopping episode. <laughs> I'm just brain farting. Where did I even put it? You got some edge. I'm looking right at it, right? One. Yeah, I did. H ninety four. Okay. <laughs> oh. Hello. You see, it's an overweight Lashunta, green skin. He's got uh, his antenna actually kind of droop slightly, but he's shaved bald. What can I help you with? Are you looking for a pre-owned? I can. Uh, I got myself uh, uh, about seven speeders. I uh, got uh, a, a couple of uh, freighters. Uh, what can I help you with, sir? And then give me a culture roll, Dax. Oh, me? Oh, sorry. I was looking up a spell. If you have something more pertinent to your celebrity status than culture that you would use... We can use something else. Uh, no, culture will do fine. That's 16. Bad. You look familiar. Have you been to Apex before? Well, I don't know if I've been to this. No, I don't think I've been here exactly. All right. 
I'm sorry, I'm not trying to say anything about humans all looking alike, but, uh... Well, you probably heard my name, though. I'm humans a... all look alike, you know? I mean... I'm a hollow you know, streamer. Oh, one of those. All right, well, uh, what, what are you looking for? Uh, I got two freighters, number of speeders. I think I got a shuttle in the back, but, uh, she's in need of some love and care. I'm not really sure if, uh, what you're into. I have, uh, quite a few, uh, drives, uh, number of drift engines. What are you shopping around for? Well, you know, I'm, I'm you know, I, I just want to kind of take a look around and, uh, take a look at some of these things. I got, I got a ship, but I ain't got a lot of room in the cargo hold, so I can't, like, put another ship in there exactly. Oh, yeah, all right. Um, Most I'm looking for a fair number of, uh, I'm looking for a bunch of parts. Oh, if you're just looking for parts, uh, if you're looking for something specific, uh, I'll be over here in the shed. Uh, Let me know what you find, and uh, we'll come put it up on the scale, and then uh, we'll go from there. Pleasure. Gordon. He holds out his hand. And Dax will just proceed to uh, sort through and find several bulk in what is effectively cardboard boxes worth of junk. Right, right. Um, that he's gonna acquire. Is does your scrap equate to the unit of bulk? Yes. Okay. Then uh, it takes one bulk to make the armor. So. Okay. Okay. So for a total of one bulk, it's gonna put you back fifty credits. Okay. So like I said, he'll he'll come out with like a shopping cart with like three yeah. boxes of sure of just parts like someone who went to napa and just grabbed parts from the back yeah, and threw them all in the boy if, uh, if 50 credits we'll call it a day uh, thanks for getting this off me yard all this stuff was getting in me way anyway 150 no problem you're doing me a service 10 for 50. all right that'll do Who wants what? Good. I spent all my money last game. I'm <laughs> gonna save you know, docking fees. I was just going to go visit Big T. Going to Big T? You walk into Big T. T Big Direct. And all that is on display. T Big Direct is a very streamlined, large shop about with a similar construction to a a garage. There's a single roll-up door because a lot of the stuff in here is so massive. It has to be carefully given space to be moved around and there doesn't appear to be a counter there's just a guy standing there in a uh, tmc outfit hey guys uh welcome look around uh welcome to t big when you need to get it done you call it a t big so uh how can i help you sirs hmm. i was looking for a possible upgrade uh, I'd love to help you. We got mini rockets, uh, rad cannons, machine guns, all kinds of things. I just picked up an acid lancer uh, two days ago, fresh on the shelf, direct from the factory. Hmm. Feel free to look around. What uh, we have a firing. Have? Pardon? Do you have personal weapons? Or are these only ship items? No, no, all of these are personal weapons. Do you if have you no alarms? Tr- uh, I'm very sorry. This is heavy weapons specific. I turn around and walk out. I don't even reply. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa, no- whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> yes. <laughs> With that, uh, as you're trying to leave, uh, give me a diplomacy check. I am very diplomatic. I have zero. I rolled a nine. 
All right. Uh, I, I, let, let me check. And he checks in the back. I, I am so sorry. I would be more than happy to put in an order for you through our hollow presence. We can have stuff shipped here within a day. Hmm. I don't know if we are staying here for a day. I opened up my communicator. Um, Helios. Yeah. Do you think we'll be on this place for over a day? Uh, maybe. When's the uh, lava pit thing happening? The lava pit thing, kill a cage, is going to happen in one week. Uh, well, I mean, we'll be back then, yeah, right? Hmm. They have no items here for sale that I could use, but they're willing ah. to order, they say. Anywhere we particularly need to be in a day, then? Um, here, hold on, wait. Hey, guys, you got on the call? We're going to be sticking around here for a little bit? We, we have a day's worth of uh, docking fees, at the very least. Yeah, I mean, if it's going to charge us 500 a day, though, that's quite a bit. Well, can they get it to us, like... In half a day, oh nine, then we can like get it before. No, we have they are to claiming they're going again. to order it from their main station and have it delivered. We always go to the main station if we got a week, I guess, or somewhere where has more supply. Of what you're looking for? Check some online shops. Hmm. Hey, where are you at right now? I am currently at T Big Direct weapons and armor. They have nothing here. I mean, that's that's ringing a bell for me. Isn't that the place where, uh, let me double check. Yeah. That's where, uh, Furious George used to shop and pick up his, uh, extracurriculars from the dock. Oh, is it? Yeah. Maybe we do want to put it in order for the next day then, huh? Hmm. Yeah, do some poking around in there would be a good idea. Okay. Looks like you got some nice stuff on the, the list here. Hmm. I cannot use heavy weapons. That's too bad. All right. Tell me, do you have any calling rays? Calling rays. And then Levi's got to look up a calling ray. <laughs> You'd be like, what the hell is that thing? Oh, it calls an array. It calls an array. I don't hear, but again, I can absolutely get one ordered and I can have it here tomorrow. Hmm. I already have a large shipment on its way of a variety of small and long arms. If you want a culling ray, I can do what I can to make sure that is in that shipment just for you. Hmm. My name's Jerry, and I will not steer you wrong, my friend. Hey, and he leans in. I've always felt you guys have been dealt a real bad hand in general. And I want you to know, I hope for system-wide synth independence. I've only had good dealings with synths. That is wonderful to hear. I am glad of that. I am not much on customs. Tell me. Are there other dealers that have items that I can look at on hand today? If that is rude, yeah, I apologize. You're not going to get quality or price. And I'm, I'm okay. And just so you know, if you end up in that pan panadome, you're going to get one step towards that cult. And then that's it. I mean, once you're in, that's how they get you. Starts the discount, ends with white robes and a book you have to sleep with every night. 
Hmm. Is that all? Hey. I, I assume in in speaking to me, you're a liberated synth. You you have life rights? I do not know. What are life rights? Well, okay, I'll put it this way. Does somebody... Do you have to answer to somebody and do everything they say and they govern your prime programmable directive? No, I do not. So you can choose for yourself? Yeah. You have life rights, my friend. Hmm. Does that come with this? At least according to the Planetary Union. I don't know that the Grand Empire would agree, but... Hmm. Oh well. I haven't seen a Vesk around here in months. I mean, there's going to be weapons in the Panadome. Uh, there very likely could be arms and armaments. Uh, the Eurotech garage sometimes ends up dealing in weapon salvage, and sometimes Quadden has stuff. But again... That's not going to be fresh off the line. It could come with any number of quirks, many of which could be dangerous to own. I understand. But I wish you luck. I don't want to waste any more of your time. Do you, you see have something a disintegrator like? rifle on order? A uh, disintegrator? Yes. I let me check my inventory. Yes, I think I can get you a disintegrator. Out of character. How much bulk can a character of a strength 10 carry? That is unclear to me. Let's check. I am a strength 10, and according to the math my sheet is doing, which I don't know how it's doing it, I encumber at bulk 6. Oh. And I think my limit is 10? Not sure it's not based off a con instead of strength, though. Oh, maybe. I have no idea. I'm just reading what my sheet okay, apparently Okay, I see over, over overburdened bulk is at 10 for me. Okay. And I'm currently only carrying 5. You yeah. can carry half oh. your strength score without difficulty. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. I'm going to look at Panacorp, and if they have nothing that suits my fancy, I will order a rifle through you. I... Well, I wish you a good day of profit and success. I'm not gonna lie, I hope you don't find it at Panacorp, but good luck to you. Well, thank you. Fellas, I'm gonna go to Panacorp. Does anybody want to go with me? So mm. that's not back yet. Yeah, I guess I can. Um, do you find what you were looking for, X, or do you want to check out and see if Panacorp has anything you need? No, I didn't find it, but uh, T Big Direct looks like they got a gun I was looking for. Oh, well there They'll you go. Pick up a uh, quick one, real quick. You want us to check for any personal upgrades over at Panacorp for you, even on the cheaper end? Yeah, if they got them, let me know. You got it. Yeah, let's check it out, oh, man. <sighs> I guess I feel like getting preached at this afternoon. I feel like I'm getting preached at every day. You, you just, just got truth bombs just all the time, 09. I just gotta let you know. <laughs> hmm. 
I don't know if the Holocade is exactly what it sounds like it is, but if it is a gaming arcade, Dax is most certainly there. It is. It <laughs> it's is. A it's, uh, it's, it's a holodeck. And I'm just going to remove a solid 400 credits. <laughs> <laughs> just because. Yep. All right, let me make a, a thing so I can make a thing, and then the thing will be made, and it'll be a thing. I did not set a high score. I'm very upset with my loss of credits. Oh. I still can't get past that fucking level. <laughs> hey, that happens. Levi, what did you call that? A certificate of life? You say that? Life, life rights. rights. Life rights. I need to write that on my character sheet. Under equipment, I have life rights. Welcome to the Pena Doom. Uh, how can I help you today? Well, uh... May all the blessings of the Pena Corp rain upon you. Great success to you together. Thanks. We uh... will succeed. Yeah, yeah, I'm, we will. And uh, speaking of succeeding, my friend and I here were looking to see if you had both any uh, long rifles and also any uh, personalized upgrades of either like cybernetic, hybrid, yeah. symbiotic. Yeah, the, this this panadome is flourishing with things. Um, uh, nice to meet you. Uh, my name is uh, Walla, and. Uh, I would love to help you today. H have you known uh, the the great grace of I am Oose? And for listening to about the great grace of I am Oose, um, and then you see she pulls out a little scanner. She goes, doo 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 doo. You already know the great grace of I am Oose. We do, in fact. Oh yes, my, that's... that is so lovely. And I am so, so glad it remembers. Oh, that is excellent. Because I do. So, um, I can tell you that I would be more than willing to give you a 15% a discount on any and all products in the Panadome today well, if you would be willing to uh, upload this program into your uh, CPU of your ship that you might help spread the word of the greatness of the Panadome and then in any Panacorp, Panacorp location that's supported you would also get additional discounts. Ah, so what's getting having heard the sermon though before? What's that currently getting us? Oh, right now? Um, yes. You would get you would get a 5% discount. Okay, so this ups that from 5 to 15. Correct. All yes. right. Well. All you'd have to do is upload this, and she holds up a little drive, to your CPU of your ship, and uh, that would be a lovely way of uh, uh, spreading the great word of I Am Moose that you'd be <laughs> stringing together so many divergent threads uh, across all the system into one great collective that together we would thrive. I myself was lost and alone. I'd lost all my family in, in, in the robot war and, and then just as about the time that I'd gathered together a new circle of friends then lo and behold the swarm came and it wasn't until I a moose reached out to me with with a lovely hand and a 20% discount that I was able to work my way up from the ground. And look at you now. Oh no, I yeah. live here free. That's that's pretty great. Uh, so yeah, we know we'll think about that, but we'd really like to see what at least you have on offer first. Oh, That's certainly. Um, you'll see that the the dome here has quite a lot of things going on, and uh, I must say, uh, for a dashing man such as yourself, uh, uh, we have a, a number of things. Uh, oh, excuse me, and she's looking over at you, oh nine. Uh, you part of the? And she goes, Doo -doo. Oh, you're part of the same crew. Oh, yes. you. You've got a star! I do. I, uh, I almost copied your accent. <laughs> that was incredible. Well, that it must, must be been because. Uh, Panacorp talking. It must be because together we're already thriving. Uh, you've got a star, so you, sir, get a 7% discount. I didn't even <laughs> see that. It seems as if you were a very attentive learner of the ways of I Am Oose and the way that he forged the system to create a great protectorate for all of us together, provided we continue to bond. He is a great listener. It's true. I am a wonderful listener. It's true. It was um, a 
an excellent sermon that I listened to. What can I help you find? Hmm. Well, my friend We've got uh, long uh, rifles uh, and uh, fusions. Oh, long arms. Yes, and also sir. Any kind of uh, personal upgrade, perhaps cybernetic. Uh, it, it's regarding uh, long arms, we've got a, a breaching gun, a plasma bolter, a disintegrator rifle, a surge caster, uh, a frailty rifle, a rail gun, and uh, let's see here, For uh, you're looking for personal upgrades, potentially like a, a, for augmentations, I've got some dark vision capacitors, retinal reflectors, spinal struts, adaptive bio chains, uh, we've got an adrenal gland, uh, uh, this one here is marked with a bit of a, a, a black hat. So Ooh. that right there is something I gotta uh, get cleared, but what about we a, are uh, selling it. Synaptic accelerator or a synergizing symbiote? Anything like uh, that? Uh, give me a diplomacy. Or if you have something that would be more relevant to uh, swaying a uh, seller of wares. In this circumstance, it's gonna go diplomacy. I don't have enough of the other sciences or culture. At least not, this isn't the right kind of culture. A 13 on my diplomacy. Oh, well, hello, you know. Liching Hour. You, you just so came to a shopping episode. <laughs> yeah. Come on Wee. down. We're right here in the middle of the Panacorp Panadome, hosted in the Corp City of Apex by TMC. And uh, the guys here are talking to basically space Scientology. Yeah. So, um, so uh, I'm afraid I don't have those on hand. Uh, whatever the Panna ship comes in, uh, whatever I'm delivered by God Rails is what I have on hand. All right. Well, at least got that disintegrator. Hmm. They do. I am not quite sure on it, though. No. You got a firing range to let us use that, maybe? Test drive? Very sorry, I don't have a firing range. Oh, However, uh, I am aware that uh, I can purchase for you a TMC ticket to the firing range at a discount provided you are willing to uh, load this sticker onto your person. And you see it's a little sticker and you can see on the back it's got a reflective chip meaning it's uploaded with a potential looping message based on stimuli and that stimuli could be any number of things depending upon what the, the sticker's been coded for. And it simply says Panacorp on the, on the sticker itself. If you were to load this on uh, and wear it uh, for your remainder of your time here at Apex by TMC, I could get you into the firing range at T Big Direct behind the shop. They've got a sizable firing range that's able to handle just about anything you could shoot, and uh, you get an unlimited amount of time on it. Uh, and this this uh, sold from T Big Direct costs twenty credits, but I can give it to you for five. Still pretty happy with Lilith. It's kind of up to you, 09. You were shopping for something new. I was. Hmm. Welcome, Litching Hour, to me trying not to slide out of an Australian accent. I'm not good at it. I'm Australian not... is so difficult. It's hard. And, I uh, want to make it, I want to make it New Zealand, which I'm also not good at. Yeah. Sorry, X. They're uh, fresh out of the upgrades over here too. Yeah, that figures. Well, I'm gonna go pick up a uh, shot caster from a. Uh, T big direct. All right. Won't be leaving empty handed then. Hmm. I think I'm going to take this disintegrator rifle. Well, that is absolutely lovely. Uh, you would get that at a 7% a discount. However, and then she holds up the drive. If you're willing to upload this. I can give it to you for fifteen percent discount. Can I preview the message first? Well, of course. I put it in my um, will. Your customer. Yes. Yes. Customer. It is spyware that is going to completely map 
all of the Bogart systems and backtrack all of the parts of the Bogart and all the equipment you guys have on board and where it came from as much as it can based on serial number. And then it's going to try to understand your buying trends. And then it's going to, then the weird thing is give me a, oh, sorry, I shouldn't say the weird thing. Give me a computer's check. I've been doing so well tonight. Dice have been hot. Hey! hey. Oh, Excellent! That, that blew it out of the water. It's amazing. Let's see what you beat. You beat, uh, yeah, you beat a hard check on that one. That was amazing. All right, uh, you find an underlying, very subversive code that is going to put subliminal messages just at the edge of human hearing frequency into any and all audio equipment on the building to positively promote IMUS and Panacorp. And then you also find that within the same code, it triggers an opposite response every time it hears anything playing on your system, promoting TMC or Camden or Gale Tech, any of them that is a competitor. It actually puts out a signal that sounds like a bad noise, like a dog whistle. Wow. So it starts to make you feel a little bit like uncomfortable. Well, that is quite the program. Thank you. Yes. I'm, I'm happy that I can uh, I can help you out. Are you interested in the 15% discount? I will not be installing that. Thank you, though. Well, all right, then. Uh, I wish you to thrive just like anyone else out there. So uh, uh, your disintegrator will sell to you for a 7% discount. And I hope you have a lovely day. Thank you very much. No, thank you. Oh, you don't happen to have the next version of this, do you? I'm sorry? Well, I, I saw you had this one. Do you have, do you have the next advanced version of this? Very sorry. What we have is what we have. Uh, as Panagod rails show up with their various supply drops, that is what we load into our dome. It is a diverse inventory, but it is not terribly specific to any one thing, unfortunately. Understood. Hmm. I certainly wish I could help you out more, but I'm afraid I can't. I'm sorry, Helios, but I may have to go check with the other vendor. Oh, I'm man, really all right. sorry. That's fine. Sure. I may be back. And I go back to Big T, the T Bigs. Fifteen hours loves O nine. Oh, you got cheered! Ah, <laughs> nice, thank you. Thank you very much. He should get something. He's put in a mountain of time for things mm -hmm. like. I'm not kidding. There are things he hasn't shown you guys yet that he's put hundreds of hours. Mm -hmm. Dreads. That's amazing. And he's waiting for oh, confirmation. Sorry. Oh yes. <laughs> I, I, I on dreads you were talking of ours, about right? Dreads. Yes. No, no. So to quote to quote him when I was visiting him, checking things out last time, he said, uh, I, "I put a lot of work in for like a single day of, at a boy, Clint. So anybody cheering him on at this point <laughs> is fantastic. He deserves all of it. He's worked his ass off uh, for something I, amazing. None of us have asked him to do, and he's just doing it to enrich yep. the game to a level that." I, I couldn't do it all on my own, so it's just fantastic. Yes, I love it. Amazing. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta do a thing with a thing with a thing, but everybody's gonna be potentially happy with it, so we'll see how it goes. Oh. Enjoying watching you play these corpo guys off each other, 09. This is this is a good time. <laughs> As you guys are walking out of the Panadome pod, uh, you get a quick hail Helios that is on your public receiver. And that means anybody that can see you would ping that end. All of you have that on your data pad. It's rare to get 
something from that that's from a person. Normally your public feed, think of it like inboxes in your Gmail. Normally your public feed is revert is is reserved for uh, lowercase AIs that aren't actually self-thinking, hitting you bot AIs hitting you with ads. Mm -hmm. um, however, in this case, it does appear to be somebody. I'll pull it up. Beam steel murder. Oh my god! Hey, hello, good seeing you. Hey, oh, how are we doing? Steel murder. Uh, That's you. Bird. Punch it up, and what you get is a Isoki face. However, the top of the head is missing, as is an entire ear. And in its place, you see what looks like a tiny electrical motor hooked up to a metal skull cap with uh, an Isoki. Uh, metal flat skull plate look in the shape of an Ahsoki skull on top of his head and it says like hey there my name's Crank and I heard you walking around in town looking for upgrades you ain't gonna get them here you gotta meet me in the back alley which sounds real sketchy but it ain't cause I'm gonna sell you some shit that's got you set up tight cause the only way to live is upgraded give me a culture check easy difficulty alright this has nothing to yeah this has nothing to do with vehicles or starships so never mind oh that's hey, right natural 20 he just said the catchphrase of the loosely organized cybernetic cult is a question mark. It's unclear if they're an engineering guild or if they're a cult that believes pushing your body closer to the synthetic is some sort of religious ideal. And everybody debates that, but they universally call themselves the Upgraded, and they are mostly made of Isoki. Because some people seem skittish about implanting too much metal in their body. Isoki have no problem with it. All up on that machine god. All right, well, I, uh, I'm going to go ahead and just forward this to my buddy X and send that right off. Hey, X, got something coming to your inbox I think you might be interested in. Oh, nice. Back alley docks. Totally trustworthy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can back you up on that. Uh, O9's working on a disintegrator rifle, which, you know, maybe we should make sure he buys first before we go over there. Yeah. Yeah, let me get my gun real quick and we'll be good. So, yeah, um, X will go buy the shot caster static from uh, Big T's. IV and then head to the head to the alley. <laughs> oh, nine and I are showing back up there too because we are shopping. X, you I go. will go with you to the. Oh, what was it called? Was it was the Bigs? No. Oh, and then the crank. I will go with you to crank. Oh, do you want to hit up T Big again and see? I if you absolutely can get it? want to go to T Big. Yes. Oh, you going to do that first? I mean, this should just be came very out. quick. Go yes. for it. Okay. Yep, we'll go together. That is a big gift bag, X. What's in there? Oh, this is a beaut right here. You're gonna love this one. I'm gonna save the surprise till later, but you'll like it. Okay. You go to T Biggs. Hi, hey, welcome back. Uh, did you find what you're looking for? I did. Okay. However, uh, then... I'm all ears. What's up? Their discount was only seven percent. Give me a diplomacy of the plus two. Oh, I have a wonderful diplomacy. <laughs> if you recall, it's a zero. Well, that's a plus two. I have a 13 then. I am so sorry. I do not have the leeway to give discounts. I'm very much under uh, contract. Hey, actually, that speaking of that, has... um, hold on. Um, used outfit, Furious George, didn't you?
well not me personally but uh yes uh my my former boss yep, yep. uh he has moved on uh onto his own uh but yes he was a personal outfitter that worked with the furious george uh i can point out i mean you show me episodes i can literally point out each piece that came from this shop well, you sell that man what he wants at a discount, and I'll be sure it shows up on my show. Give me a... You can use your profession as a a uh, oh. killer tame <laughs> star. <laughs> yeah, it the fell flat. So yeah, it's I, yeah. I, I'm sorry. I, I'm unfamiliar with your work and I really have to get that cleared at the next level. Those kinds of decisions are above my pay grade. Honestly, I really wish I could help you. I, I would love to help you, but my these hands right here, they don't look it, but they are definitely tied in uh, just a, a litany of, of contract lingo that prevents me from being able to make these kinds of decisions for you guys. But, but if you guys want, and then he hands you a card, actually, no, he holds up his data pad and goes flip and he sends off. And then you guys have a digital card in essence of his simple information. This is for, uh, Rodney. Uh, let me come up with Rodney's last name. Me out of apex. The blam. This is uh, Rodney O'Keefe, and he is my uh, logistics manager uh, that handles inventory. He is allowed to approve, disprove uh, celebrity connection sponsorship issues. So if you speak with him, he might be able to get that cleared. All right. I get, good luck on your show. Thanks. Hmm. So you can't beat the 7%. Can you do the 5%? No, I can't. I'm really sorry. I really wish I could. Uh, but what I can tell you is if you are willing to order through us, I can target specifically what you're looking for. And our inventory is massive and top of the line. Turn and look at X. What do you think? Hmm. I mean, he's not wrong. TMC's got the best gear. <laughs> hmm. Hey, right. you know, maybe we could talk to Rodney O'Keefe. I don't know. Get the hook up. This is the guy who uh, dealt with my predecessor, right? Rodney? Yeah. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. He's just logistics manager and higher up the chain from me. If you you're talking your about he's on if his you're own talking now? about my old boss. Yeah, your old boss. Who, who's that's the guy uh, I need to talk to. You working independent now, you say? I don't really know what he got into. I know he's no longer living here at Apex. Uh, he told me that he was going to go into transport. But yeah, that's so vague. That could mean a lot of stuff, especially in a system with everybody as spread out as things are around here these days. But it sounded above board because I knew he'd already leased two ships. So he already had at least a small fleet. Um, but yeah, that was uh, Vince Conley. Vince Conley. All right. That's, uh, that's interesting. I always like to meet people who knew him. But Vince, he, he personally repaired that David armor. God, it would have been at least like seven times or something like that. It was pretty impressive. It's some good shit. You get a notification from Doug. And it's just a text and it says, 
Next episode, baby! Exclamation point! Exclamation point! Exclamation point! Part. Who's my beautiful baby boy? Exclamation point! Exclamation point! Exclamation point! I send back a, a baby smiling emote. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> 2,000 creds come your way. Ooh! Nice! Well, it's your lucky day, 09. Oh, How much what you need? What, what do you mean? How much you need for the gun? A liquidator? That's, uh, oh, know, like the, 47. The price was not the concern. Oh, okay. I was trying to make a deal. I hear that's what you do. Yeah, yeah, you can. I, uh, so I found out today from this nice gentleman that I have life rights. So I am attempting yeah, to use those life rights to my advantage. Perfect. That's how you do it. Proud of you, bud. Thank you very so, much. Got looking like you need to buy on a day layaway, a top of the line, right off the assembly line disintegrator for 47. No, I do not. I was thinking about buying the decimator. Ah. Axe, you get a notification. Doo -doo. It's an incoming call wanting to make connection from Lars and Hans. Take it. Some hunts. Yeah, we need another 6,000 credits to produce the next wave of products. You know, products, Dax? Uh, yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Six, All right, six, so um, I, we need you to approve which ones you want us to go in production with. We have uh, the sweat egg. As it's like a sauna. It, but it is also a protective casing in the event of an artillery siege. Oh, yeah, those are common. Yeah, okay. And then we have uh, the tongue lasher. Uh, uh, it's a mouth-mounted uh, uh, taser. And it uh, it's set to uh, stimulate your partner or uh, uh, knock them unconscious or electrify them into... Uh, uh, Orgesiastic bliss and brain dead. Well, everybody, uh, knows, everybody knows sex sells. I think the second one definitely is. All right, now, yeah, I want you to hear about the last one though, because I, I believe this could be the one. Uh, this is the Rocket Boy. It is a cod piece mounted missile launcher, and it, it's warm, it vibrates, it's got the guaranteed lift off. Huh? So you tell us which way do you want us to go? And uh, which way you wants to go, we'll build the, the mock-up and then we will move forward with uh, the ad campaign, yeah? Oh, man. Wet egg, tongue lasher, a rocket boy. Boy. Tell you what, I, I you really what thought... I thought you had me with that tongue lasher, but a rocket cod piece, I mean... Hans loves the rocket boy. Hans, he wears it all the time, and and he thinks it has a real uh, a possibility for great things. Now, of course, of course, uh, we're not able to load on the explosive warhead, Dax, but uh, if you throw us funding, we can make this bing bang baby. Uh, yeah, I go ahead. We'll go with the rocket boy. I like it. Lock it, the boy. It is. You will see ad in a week. Fantastic. So you have to transfer six thousand credits. I got it. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, spend money to make money on rocket yep. copies. Right. There, there's no better money making device. Just so it is now stated, whenever I cast magic missile. That's where they're coming from. <laughs> yes. <Yep. laughs> Diamond hands straight to the moon. Steam Steel <laughs> Murder says, I want to see the ad campaign for that. Not even sorry. <laughs> there, it may it, actually happen. I, I will do ad copy for that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, I placed an order. Not for the disintegrator rifle that I was looking at originally. But I placed an order for a laser rifle. The Ophelian level. Ooh, that's what I was looking at. I just don't want for Nice. Goody. You can put half down now 
and ha half upon arrival, and it'll be here tomorrow, according to the tea pig, the tea big guy. I think his name was Jerry. Is that what I said? Careful not to buy the serpent version. It was, yeah. What on earth is the serpent version? It's less money, but uh, it only has like two shots. Oh, that is terrible. 20 charges of pull. Oh, no. That is not the one I'm looking at. One's right below, probably the level nine one. Yeah. You require half down? That is very steep. Is that very steep, guys? Uh, sometimes. I mean, I, I've I've gotten that a lot. I'm not going to lie. Hmm. Okay. You're all right. If it was I another company, I'd be worried, but yeah, it's good on this one. Very well. More they're worried you're going to skip out. I place half down. You place Let's half down? Let's go get some augmentations. Let's go. All right. Uh, creepy back alley. Here we come. You have coordinates. You wander past the business district and the coordinates that. are the coordinates are leading yeah, you. Go. The coordinates are leading you really close to where Apex by TMC processes uh, organic and synthetic waste. And right, organic waste is by. reconstituted in a shockingly small facility, uh, about the size of one of those. Um, have you ever seen like a, a a small pump house that'll be situated near a water tower? It, mm -hmm. They won't be terribly big. That processes all organic waste into uh, fertilizer and or um, food for pack animals and pets. And then there's a synthetic waste manufacturer that or that synthetic scrap that you see is situated next to Quadlin's scrapyard, actually. He's the only one that's off the business business district area. So it, Dax, if you're along for the ride, you're just kind of coming back to where you already were. And I assume Dax is not actually with them. Okay. I assume Dax is still pumping 400 some credits into um, <laughs> What's the equivalent of space invaders? Uh, the equivalent of space invaders is swarm fall. Oh, and nice. swarm fall involves picking between six different color ships, all of which start with a certain weapon. However, if you can kill the Vi count, then you get weapon upgrades because every level ends with a lieutenant and every five level ends with a queen. Yep. Picks up. Well, we're uh we're doing some shit shady back alley dealing for right, upgrades. Give me a give that. me a flat dex check or something that would be appropriate to playing video games like sleight of hand. Oh, I already did. And How'd I you do? Failed horribly. <laughs> yeah, he, he I rolled yeah. one and I cannot get past the goddamn six queen. We talked about this earlier. That yeah. bitch has my number. Every time I land at a port, I find a holocade and I find myself some swarm fall and the goddamn bitch six queen will not die. Every time you lose to the queen level, her pixelated hands, uh, sorry, holographic. What am I saying? Pixelated like it's a shitty eighties one. Her holographic yeah. hands grab you and then pull your avatar in front of you. So you can watch it from a third person view. And she, her tongue injects into your throat and lays eggs in your stomach. And then you die as the maggots chew their way out. And then you hear, and then she goes, <laughs> and then all the maggots laugh at you too. You know, I only play retro games. I've never and you wanted. you get one ticket. I've never wanted. And one an ticket everybody knows so is meaner than my no whole tickets. Life. <laughs> yeah. Just to beat this goddamn level. But it's one ball. You might, uh, maybe there's a Dexog. I get mad. He leaves eventually. Dax, <laughs> you have a tugging on your leg. You can't see them because you have the hollow vid over your eyes. Well, and now that I've died, I'll take it off. Look down. It's a little Ashunta kid. It looks like you're stuck. Oh, yeah. You know, it's okay. I've gotten past it before. You know, it's just been a rough day today. It's on the back. 
Did you look on my back? What? There's oh, a blinky man. spot you gotta shoot at and it blinks faster and faster and it's on a back. On her back? Yeah. No. Yeah, I mean, I knew that because, you know, I've been it before, but... You didn't know that. You're a noob. You got no skills. Get good. Alright, fine. Get on here and show me how it's done then. Alright. <laughs> I put in one token and I walk the fuck away while he's got the hollow <laughs> on, leaving him talking to himself for who knows how the fuck long. Amazing. So you see, and, you go, and then you can walk away. <laughs> awesome. Bro, I love it. Okay. So, you guys go and you wrap between the synthetic waste and organic waste, and then there's a weird stack of dumpsters, and you see there is a cardboard sign that's been taped up that says Crank's Back Alley. And then it says brought to you by, and there's a big stolen piece of metal that clearly says TMC. In official corporate legit. logo. Oh, this checks that, out. That's definitely legit. 100% agree. That's legit. Uh, oh. It's on the sign. Wait, was I the only <laughs> one actually doing sarcasm? Thank you, Tasha. <laughs> oh, that was sarcasm. I was well, saying yeah. the font is wrong. Oh. Hmm. It checks out. It looks right to me. Hey there, gentlemen. And you see, hey. popping out, you see half his head is metal, clearly in open air with wires, and then a Isoki skull print metal plate on top. Oh, kind of yeah. like a, kind of like the Punisher belt buckles you'll occasionally see. Only that's the top of his head. And oh, that's and the then guy. you see the upper half of his body, one whole arm and upper torso is. Two spidery, thin, metallic arms that end in six-digit hands, and then folded up in the forearm and interchangeable. And folding out is a cutting torch on one, and on the other is an arc welder. Hey there, I'm Crank, and here's where you guys get upgraded. It's a pleasure. You guys come on into my office. Hold on. And he moves the sign, and the sign is the entrance to the office. Okay. I step on in. And you see there is a tarp that's been laid between the two buildings that gives some cover from the sun, and there is a number of crates out and you can see he's wiping down a bunch of ripped off upholstered seats from other chairs and he's lined them up so they're kind of flat like a shitty massage table mm -hmm. and he's got it he wipes it all down and you see him go ah, hold on i got this and the all right now you sit down here's my inventory and you see he hits a button and it hollow projects a nice TMC font official listing yeah. of the following. All right, let's see what we got. Man, I got force fields. I got a bright light projector. I got clinging hands. I got X legs. I got fortified feet. Man, I got stench glands. I got weaponized prothesis. I got crypt marrow. I got morphic skin. And man, I can put all this in just for like. And then you guys notice the prices. And folks, I have listed at the top something very key. Every price listed, he is 20% higher than the list price. Okay. Uh, what does this thing do? Uh, hmm. I see no synaptic accelerators on your list. Oh, man. You want a synaptic accelerator? I can get you one of those. If you can give me... Two hours. Hmm. And you saw him look over your shoulder. Can I give a perception check to see if I could follow where he was looking? 32. <laughs> you see two Isoki doing quick hand signals like baseball. And both Isoki are covered in metal parts, one of which has a lot of like glass panels. And then they're both doing hand signals. And then they both take off in opposite directions. 
I, I promise you. <laughs> How? You know, I think he's legit. Oh. All right, <laughs> we're good. Hmm. Well, I think uh, if you can pick me up a couple uh, accelerators as well, looking for uh, rapid reflexes. Oh yeah. For, you want you know, those rapid reflexes? You don't want to be like, a oh, bam! And he pulls out a gun and he quick draws on you guys. You guys yeah. want to be like, and then his arm quick folds into a gun faster <laughs> than you could see it. It was creepy. That's what you want. Nice. Yeah, I'm looking for a little of that maybe, and uh, you know maybe some, you know, subdermal work. Oh man, I love getting under skin. It's just the most useless tissue. Ain't that right? And he gives you like a tap, tap, tap 09. Overrated. Upgrade. So, this guy's right. Y'all need to listen to him. Full upgrade. He looks at you. He's like, I want you to know. You are the most beautiful synth I have seen in three days. Oh, why, thank you. The balance to your form is exquisite. The composition of your bilateral symmetry is Flawless, and I want you to know that's titanium carbide. I can see it. I can see it from the shine. It is. You are a thing of beauty, sir. All right, flesh bags, let's do this. All right, so what I'm looking no, for is a. Cut. I do, I do. Uh, I'm, I'm looking for a plus four dex and a plus two con. That's what I'm looking to, for the, the hey, personal Chris upgrades. Jones. All right, if he doesn't have it on that list, mm -hmm. then he can get it and it'll be marked up. Yep. Okay. I'll put in the order. All right, so, uh, hold on. And you see he flips up a little hollow screen and he, he and he, all of a sudden you see words generating themselves for what you guys want. All right, so, there's your order. I'm gonna contact you boys when I got all this in stock. And then after I've got it in stock, I'm gonna get it in you, and I'll come with you at updated prices in my message when it arrives in my inventory. All so right. You're looking at. That's the crank promise. And as he goes like this, you see his thumb unfolds, creating two more thumbs. It's three <laughs> thumbs up. <laughs> Can't go wrong with that. So All right. Well, I'll be down to it. 7,800 for the Mark II and, yeah, and 1,680 for the other. Yep. 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 That's fine. I got it. Barely, but I got it. Once I get a bit more money, I'll have to get a Mark II, but, or Mark I, I should say. I got a Mark II. Yeah, I will order, um, I will order one of these synoptic accelerators as well. That's three? Mark I or Mark II? I will be ordering a Mark II. Ooh. Ah, cybernetics. Good eats. Some about all this is kind of making me want to get hot dogs. I like hot dogs. I don't know why. It's got, it's got that smell around. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, I guess it's just the area of town we're in. All right, so, uh, do you guys wait on his inventory to arrive or do you, what are you doing? Anything you want to scope out about uh, Furious George any further in town before we get you guys drilled? Uh, I mean, we could talk about it if you want, but... Sure. So we got uh, a week before the old uh, kill cage. Yeah, let's get Dax here. He's probably at the arcade again. You guys all gather up, and you're at least all in the same location. Um... You guys can go Dax wherever you choose car. regarding places to congregate that are businesses with seating. The Kim and Go has a seating and eating area like an upscale truck stop. Um, the Holocade does. Deck Plate Rising is a bar. The Atria is an upscale bar that's on um, a tower, kind of like a Space Needle and munchers which is a fast food place you can't go wrong with munchers sounds pretty nice 
I spent an entire month living on cosmic slushies. You guys are all out buying like fancy shit and ordering stuff and Dax rolls back up with like a grocery cart with three giant boxes <laughs> of what looks like he's been to some sort of third rate pawn shop. Oh. And it's just wipe shit off the shelves. Well, like, and 200 tickets. <laughs> Man, you really did it this time. It's a stack. Look at that stack. Oh, shit. No. Mm -hmm. No, 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 man. That six yeah. queen still got my number. No, nonsense. That takes like level 1,000 to get 200 credits. Or approximately about 400 tokens worth. I mean, you know, whatever. It's it's all the same. Wow. Oh, they come out. They come out ones, fives, tens. I mean, you know. In any anchor, man. Swarmfall? Is that word? Yeah, yeah, Swarmfall. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hollow, the Hollow Games. Welcome to Munches. Uh, how can I take your order? You guys want red nuggets, squish rings, the tip dippies, a lot of dingles, or sticks licks, or cosmic slushies. All oh, these are great. Uh, what you want? We got a special on value meals. You get two tip dippies. We throw in three squish rings, complete with two dippy sauces. Yeah, I'm gonna I'll do that the, one. I'm gonna do the cosmic slushy with the uh, the red nuggies. All right. You guys get a lot of space garbage and oh, load it yeah. up for dirt cheap, and you all feel a strong coma coming on. By this is Friday. the thing you want to oh. do before you get your skull putting some holes in there it's uh by the way oh, i did yeah. consume this food along with him oh bye bye spy. hold on hmm. i just this realized quite oh nine this Wait. food is riddled with sodium microplastics hmm. small trace amounts of metals however not necessarily toxic and a lot of feces in the parts per million, um, more than planetary union standards allow for foodstuffs, which clearly TMC is more lax about, and uh, a mountain of fats and sugars. After consuming this, you guys should not ever eat this again. But you detect, O9, that at best, this would cover... If they were to have a meal that covers 100% of the nutritional value for a single meal, this covers 10. Hmm. Hey, so... It the amount of me. spicy Mike inside of this food is disturbing. Oh, yeah, this one that rings. Spicy Mike real well. You're right. Oh, that You're squish ring is so oh, squishy. Me. The okay, squish like ring is glisteny. That's how you know it's good. I need 10 orders of the Red Nuggets. Oh, okay. big man. You get 10 orders of red nuggets. To go. Yes. In individual bags. Uh, at that point, you see them putting back down the cardboard nug tug. You didn't want a tug. I need I need the, each order in its own bag. All right. You can put them in the tug sauce. if you want. And you see, can we please use a tug? Okay, fine. You put it in the tug. He, he, you guys see him pull out a giant tug ship made out of cardboard, and you can see that some of the employees are really excited about loading that up. <laughs> You're like, and then one comes in the back. I've never seen this one get loaded at all. <laughs> so let's start loading it up. Nice. I don't know how much that costs, but let me know. It costs twenty credits. Okay. Yeah, I feel like this is the White Castle of fast food. Yeah, space. absolutely. Mm -hmm. Be like munchy. Oh, yes. oh, that, oh, this this right here is the key to our success. Munchers is the McDonald's of it's Void Prime orders. in that they are everywhere. But like a monopolized fast food franchise that got here first, all their qualities downgraded. They don't Perfect. have to compete. Right. I take my tug, I put it on my cart with my three boxes of scrap from from the junkyard, and Dax has had a quality shopping day. The plan is ready to go. It's perfect. 
Hey, so we, uh, we got some info. You got info? Yeah, we need to uh, check in on Vince Conley. I thought you went to buy weapons. Yeah. Do. Everything right. happens at the gun shop. And do you guys have any new weapons or armor? Or are you oh, yeah. Okay. I have my money already, have nothing so... nothing to show with all of my money spent. Hey, his is coming tomorrow. Pull out this new hey uh, shock caster. Oh, hey, what? Oh, that's impressive. Guys, uh, we've got a hail coming to the Bogart uh, looking for all of you by name and it's listed as Bartos. That was somebody important, right? Rings a bell. Bartos, Bartos. Oh! I think I know who that is. It's probably in my notes I got a race last time. Um, I think that's the dude who was looking for me, actually. That's not good. Bartos, who is the broker who hired the pilot Don Vic to capture Exterminator. Oh! That son of a bitch tried to shoot us down. This is the guy who hired yeah. him. Yeah. Works out of Delve on Kemmer, apparently. It's calling us, though. You put that heads up through the call to Wit. Yep. Like that information, do you share that with Wit? Yeah, yeah. Why not? Absolutely. This asshole hired the guy. The girl that killed Captain? I think so. It was the go between, I think, but yeah. I don't know why. Fuck this. Maybe we All right. Track um, this guy. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, I'm gonna get on that. Click. Ooh. He's gonna be fine, right? Well, him and him and Cap were really close, so. I don't know. I mean, if it was me. You guys eat, you relax. You get a notification from Crank. I spend the entire time, by the way, talking about the amount of plastics and metals consumption or <laughs> inside of the food as we're eating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is what I'm banking on. That's why it's a once a cycle thing. Yep, the itis is good. I mean, uh, well, I just got to get off the pills. You guys are not going to believe it. I got a call from Zapco. They're working on a missile launching cod piece. Oh man, this thing is so sweet. It's gonna be off the hook when it gets here. You guys will be so impressed. Well, then if What's I got the right. voice activation on it? Hype man. Oh, it's not. It's pelvic thrust. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Zyro sensors. All right. Hey, uh, O9. You can figure out who uh, Vince Conley is and where he's at. Vince Conley. Yeah, apparently he uh, was in transport now. He's now, uh, I don't know. They, they said that he is connected to uh, Furious George. So I think he's a guy who worked directly with him. I do a computer or a uh, search on my computer system to try to identify this fellow. I'm going to lean over as I hit my nuggies to see if they get a picture. Okay. I have a plus five to that, but that's a 23. A 23. You do not get a current location. What you do find is a series of logs for inventory check-in and check-out um, for Planetary Union Station, Alice. Uh, it's the one on Gramano that I sent you guys earlier. Alice 20. Hmm. And that time last listed for a check-in of Vince Conley with not specifically him, but a ship registered to him. And that ship is called... The Alban, A L B A N. The Alban pulled into Alice twenty four days ago. 
And then your trail goes cold. You're not sure what detail you overlooked. Hmm. Sorry, but that's the best I could find. I'd be able to do you one. was on Alice 20. I'd be able to help you out there. Got a pull picture of him for me real quick. Terminator 09. Bing, 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 bing. bing. Inventory resupply. All caps. <laughs> Cranks back alley. Oh, hell yeah. Now with more back. Well, time's up. Time to get under the knife. Trust this man. I'm going to cast no coordinates. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> what? On the same planetary bodies? You? Oh, my God. Drew, you planet. <laughs> yes. You have another Holy level one shit. spell. Level That's one crazy. for the win. Level one Starfinder spells are bonkers. <laughs> just to accommodate space travel. Okay. Um, he is in orbit. Vince Conley is in orbit. Not quite on the opposite side of Gramano. All right, well, he'll be moving. If you but, guys were to be in orbit, of, if you were in the United States, then Vince Conley's ship is currently over the most western part of Africa. Well, I can try and calculate based on the orbit, but got an idea where he is now. Here, I'm going to put these coordinates up to the rest of you guys. Here you go. After you guys get upgraded, maybe we can go and uh, hopefully give a friendly hello without getting shot at. Yeah, it sounds like a good time. Helios, that was fantastic searching. Good yeah, nice thanks. Show. Yeah, just uh, stars align, you know. Hmm. You will have to teach me what program you're using. You know, as soon as I figure it out, I would love to explain it to you because that would that would mean I have figured something out. But I'm I'm still kind of figuring. I don't know the uh, the operating system is a bit of a mystery to me. Hmm. Well, X, oh. are you ready to go under the knife? Let's do this. What are you getting done? Oh, I'm getting a whole uh, central nervous system replaced. That's well, cybernetic enhancement. Oh man. Yeah, that's, that's deep. Yeah, welcome back. Okay, now, uh, all right. I'm on. I got my assistant here. Uh, here's your brand new inventory. And then he holds up uh, a tiny little plastic Tupperware container, and inside you guys see the hardware you desire. How much blood is already on it? It is very wet. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now, home. It stays on. These, I'm sorry to tell you, were very hard to come by. This one right here is going to be a straight up 40% markup. This one right here is also the same. And you guys wanted a total of three, right? Or was it just two? Uh, what was going on? Two so I have a and one mark plus four, four, a plus two. So yeah, one plus four and a plus two. One mark one, one, one mark two, and Clint, you wanted a mark two as well. So yeah. that's two mark twos and one mark one. Okay. And. And I'm sorry to say, and he turns to you, Clint. He turns to you, 09. This was re this this puppy's real hot. All right, now I I don't typically have heat with a mystery, but you are a perfect specimen, and I'm doing this for you. So I made sure we got it. And so we got it, and I gotta make sure you get it, but I am out an agent right now. Oh, My oh. staff is down by one and a half. So what I need for you is to understand the markup on this sucker 60%. I'm real sorry. Mm. Wow. Mm. That is quite unacceptable. I am sorry as well. You can try and bring him down if you roll uh, your favorite, or if you can facsimilate, if that's a word, some sort of alternate way to convince him. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I'll be able to afford it if it's 40%. Um, yeah, that upsets. Yeah. 
I can't see. I can try and toss you a little bit. I don't have much. Yeah, it adds 2,600 to the price. Yeah, that means I'm 2,500 short. Oh, I don't have hmm. that much to give you. That was not the All price right. we agreed upon. Yeah, that price is way higher than I was expecting. Yes. Gentlemen, I got results. I said two hours I would increase my inventory for you gentlemen, and it is done. That much Guaranteed. Just They're marking well, it up almost like 50% almost. Hmm. We're looking at a... Man, I'm doing this. This is a free market, and I am making deals happen here. Now, y'all could have waited for regular pricing, but who knows how long you'd wait. Gentlemen, you are man on the go. You are men who are trying to get shit done. I know who y'all are. That's right. You do know who we are, don't you? That's right. I already saw the episode. It was fucking beautiful, man. What happened on that caravan train when the Nats hit? <laughs> Buddy. But let me tell you, I, you gentlemen can't be wasting your time here in a corpo. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no you're getting that corporate money. Ain't you sponsored by TMC? Uh, the policy roll has been awful. <laughs> All right. Um, it's ninety one hundred for the Mark II now for you. Jesus. Hold on, ain't that Dax shots back there? He has Dax. Hey, hey, hey! Hi, ordinance. Hey, 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 hey! It's not always good to meet a fan. Yeah, it's man. Look, I got a sticker. It's not, not, you can see he's got one of your official stickers on his toolbox. Oh, that's badass. Yeah, man. Well, I'm glad you enjoy the stream. We have, hey. a, we have a good time putting it together. I got a couple uh, I got a couple pipe bombs. Would you mind signing them? Well, sure. Sweet. He brings over pipe bombs. All right. Uh, I'll take uh, the Dex one, no con one. Oh. Damn. Wow. For the Yala. decks. I saw okay. it. Oh, man. That's crazy. Look at this. Hey, look at this. Look at this. Hey, <laughs> Skitch. And then you see another Yusoki come over. This is the one that's got all the glass plating. So everywhere he's got a glass plate, you guys can see his insides. All right. Now that'll just be uh, 4,000 credits. <laughs> what? Come on, man. Well, that's the rate for my signature right now. 4,000 credits. Gave you two of them. That's that's 50%. You can't do me like that. All right, we're going to have a negotiation off. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, <laughs> you go ahead and roll your diplomacy, and I'll roll mine. Never getting out of this shop. Never. I got a 17. Oh, that's a whole 10. <laughs> no. Man, oh, get oh, out of here. Single one. You ain't gonna do me like that. You're supposed to be good to your fans. Not like you're some sort of kill a ton dickwad. What, are you trying to suggest that I don't get paid for my appearances? I mean. You're calling, you're calling this and, do you look, hey man, this ain't where, I don't want an appearance here. I don't need more heat. For the body parts I done pulled out of staff. You're right. Facility. You're right. We can settle this. We can settle this in a court. In a court? Yeah, I mean, you know, we just get the authorities down. I'm sure it's no problem. Man, right? I thought I mean, you guys were cool, but it looks like you guys aren't cool. So if you aren't cool, we're going to bug the fuck out of here after we get done with your friend's skin, all right? Uh, well, I, what are you doing? <laughs> and then you see exterminators already sitting on the table. Oh, All right. Yeah. So we're just like removing the entire outer dermis, right? You actually have a 9,100 credits to blow on this? Uh, yeah. Uh, so the only thing I could afford, though, I can only afford the one. So it's just the Dex one. So however we're describing the Dex one. All right, this here, I'm going to have to unlock... Um, uh, basically, your nervous system along your spine, into your thighs, and your forearms. Lay down on your stomach, and uh, here, here, Skitch, get over here. And you see Skitch comes over. Mm. All right, take two of these. Here, give them to him, Skitch. 
All right, now, after that, I want you to breathe in on this can. Breathe in on this can, all right. Yeah, I got a can, breathe it in. All right, I like the gas. Let's breathe the can, this. man. <laughs> you pass out. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> All right, it gets installed, and it is, you guys see, he pulls, he, the arm unfolds, and you see uh, it folds on itself, and the extender comes out of this upper arm, and a bunch of surgical tools, little guys, including a tiny buzz saw. Split the skin open along Exterminator's spine through his hip bone and his femurs, and start pulling out tiny clamps and these clamps drop down like little metal ants that crawl onto the area and then extend themselves and then clamp stuff down. And then these tiny little ants will fire off little staples every single time something starts bleeding. And you see the whole time Skitch is watching over to make sure there's no extra bleeding. And then they start to screw in this upgrade along his spine and it has to be situated so the feed will slide between vertebrae so it can connect to spinal fluid, but not, but not touch the spine itself. And then as this whole thing's going on, you start to see that he's still getting bleeders everywhere. Hey, Exterminator. Yeah, yeah. Fortitude save. Cool. I got a plus one versus bleeding. Is this You'll considered a cybernetics? Son of a bitch. Wow. Um, okay. What is happening with the dice tonight? I don't okay. know. Exterminator. Yeah. Um, you come out of this surgery. It takes about an hour and a half. You guys can stick around as much as you want. No, leave him alone with these guys. You come out of it. Uh, the stitching is good for as gross as this place is, Crank actually seems to be as good as he claims. However, Exterminator, mm -hmm. you feel like dog shit coming out of this. It hurts. And as the anesthetic starts wearing off, you don't feel too great all okay. along your chest and in your gut. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna really focus down here, and I'm gonna spend resolve and activate my nanite integration. Shit. So repairing nanites, whenever you take hit point damage, you can spend one resolve as a reaction to gain fast healing equal to one quarter your level for nice. one minute. Okay, you start fast healing through. <clears throat> However, you still don't feel well. You yeah. have an infection. Oh. Jot that down. Okay. <laughs> An if you have something that goes against disease or an infection, I have plus three versus disease. Specifically you, you in there, you failed it. If, the, if yeah. that would make that a fifteen, you did fail it. Okay. But in the future, you'll be able to roll again. Mm -hmm. Okay. Until it's cured. Is there anything else oh. weird in here? So the nice. nature of Crank's OR is that it's so filthy. You have a number of things living in you now. Are these considered cybernetics that they're doing right now? Yes. Yep. Okay. Uh, Dax is going to reach down into his box of stuff, and he is going to pull out a hideaway quick draw limb. <laughs> okay. It's a leg. Yeah. It runs about three thousand fifty on the normal market. But I can create one out of nowhere because I have instant upgrades. So I'm going to create an instant upgrade with a level two spell. And I'll just pull this bad boy right on out of there. And I'll go barter with him with it. Okay. Like, look, I'll let you keep the signed pipe bombs. There yeah. will be no trouble. Yeah, All no I'm looking for is regular street value for this thing. Regular market value for it. And then you can upgrade it to upsell it to the next person who comes along and needs one. Roll the plus four. Yeah. All righty. So we'll just. What about bluff? If you're lying, bluff. Yeah, no, I'm not saying diplomacy. It's diplomacy. 
That's a 20. That's going to be a 1. Hey, that's the highest diplomacy roll of the night. So yeah. that's plus 4 on that, too. So that's a 25. It's clean. Yeah. I'm able I, want, to make things. I want two stickers, and I want you to sign the leg. I'll sign the leg. And give them the two stickers. Deal. Okay. Now, while you got my friend Flayed open, I'll go ahead and pay for the other upgrade. Look at this guy. That's Dan Shots right there. The sketch is like, Gordon's oh, man. I love it. Hey, when you go to sleep again? I ain't seen nothing. Uh, real real soon. Nothing. It's been a while. I had to take some off stream contracts for a bit for a few okay. jobs. But I mean, if that's what you want, do you want to take off stream yeah, contracts? Keep an eye. There's going to be some lost footage coming out at some point. Lost footage? Good oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to figure out what we're doing with it still. But yeah, we we get all put in there. And I box up his uh, leg for him, signed. He installs the con. And the con mod comes in as these tubes with hydraulic injected nanite upgrades that he attaches to the lower abdomen behind the sp in front of the spine through the back. So it's kind of couched in near the liver and the intestines. That's the yeah, Mark yeah, One, yeah. Mark Two for X, but we still have the Mark Two for O Nine that was on the table, but that one was. 10,000, something yeah, like that. Yeah, we're not doing 10,000 for a $6,000 piece. That's stupid. Yeah, I pray I can't help you with that one. All right, man. Uh, you would think by stealing an object to install it to somebody else, the price would be cheaper than street value, not more than street value. I'm confused. <laughs> it's... It's a risk. You are a beautiful sort of platinum god, and so I will try not to give you the stink eye. And I hope to be of an elevated consciousness like yourself someday, so I'm not troubled by these stupid flesh bag emotions. <laughs> and so then he hands off the hot item. He's like, just get it back in there real fast and then dump him on the dock. Yeah! Like now! <laughs> and then Skitch runs off. Oh my god. <laughs> Sometimes you get a bad night around here, you know? Sometimes, like, you fall in a barn and you, like, fall, like, real hard in a barn. And sometimes you fall, like, so hard, like, part of your kidney pops out. Mm. Shit happens, My man. kidneys hurt. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Get... That's gonna take a little while, but you're gonna be okay. We, might, we better go ahead and get him back to the, to the ship so he can rest after yeah, all that. Yeah, good idea. You know? Hey guys, uh, you have my contact info, which is going to expire in two days. Upon which, if you message me and you want more contact info for the upgrades, just let me know. I can be looked up in the upgrade network under Crank, because ain't nobody got my trademark. Yeah, thanks, Crank. Oh, that's great. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Well, appreciate doing business. We'll uh, oh, catch which you is later. Oh, it's a pleasure to build, y'all. I can't wait to check the next episode. <laughs> Buddy. We'll crank it up a notch. <laughs> Ooh! I love that. Hey, if you use that, I owe you one. Oh, uh, we'll, we'll use it then. Oh, yeah, damn. no problem. Yeah, crank it up a notch. No problem. Within reason. Don't don't tear me down. Oh, it'll be a good oh. setup. All right, right, an right. Explosion right. after. You're right. You're right. They're gonna make it good. They're gonna make it good. Oh no, he's gone. Okay, right, right. No, I seen him. Okay. So, All right, uh, right. Uh, we should probably right. get back to that ship. Yeah, I'm sure Wit's waiting on us. I yeah, mean, let's go. Really yeah, need to get I moving. We got your buddy out in orbit too, you know. Yeah, yeah. They got too many of those chicken buttholes. <sighs> yep, yep. That'll do it every well, time. We, gotta, we get back to ship. You might want to have me take you. I'm gonna take a look over you. We right? get far enough away as we're heading back to the ship, and Dax looks over and goes, "Uh, he's gonna open that box and find a pile of junk." What? That is an upgrade. It only lasts 20 minutes and then it resolves right back into the junk I created it out of. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. All right. But, I guess we're not going there in a while. Yeah, we, we are definitely not calling him. No. No, we're not. All right. Well, we could just crank it up then. We'll definitely crank it up though. All right. So back to the ship. Yeah. Get orbit. Maybe we'll talk to that other guy. 
Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna give you a look over, because you don't look so hot. He, yeah. he had some spinal fluid was splashed around, I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna assume, Levi, that cost me one box bulk worth of scrap to yeah. probably conjure this shit out yeah. of. Technically, that's not how that spell works, but since but I had to lose use the something. box to put it back yeah. in, yeah. yeah, so I'll mark off one bulk worth of stuff as a, re as a material component for that spell. <laughs> hey, you guys are heading back to the ship? I guess yes. so. Yeah. Okay. I think we're good. Uh, you guys make it back on board, and Wit is in a fury of hollow research vids. There's like, he's got five different screens up, and he's just digging through all this stuff, trying to figure out who is Bartos? Where is he? Um, can we track where his current location is? What does he want? And then he's digging up bounties as well. It's a good question, Chris. We don't know. That's the way we like it. You also missed earlier whenever uh, we, we, we plumbed the depths. No, just 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 derps. Come back and watch this. The beginning of this one. You're going to like it. Like yeah, it, you're gonna dig it. It's it's really immature. And it's it's on brand. It's a, yeah, it's it's deep. Yeah, yeah, it's deep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I don't know. This guy's slippery. There's just there's no bounties on him per se, but he is connected to at least 10 deaths that I've caught within the past two years. But that's tangential at best. He was questioned in the investigations of all these, but nothing ties him to anything. What's the message say that he gave us? Yeah, that's here. Okay, fine. Click. And then you see a picture of a Vesk appear. Hello, I am Bartos. I am contacted by Bianca Benatelli. I am here to speak to you as I am now being hired into her employ. We are to have a sit down or if you prefer, we could have over voice message. But we talk. Apparently you are part of something. I have information for you. I want you to know. No hard feelings. We both have same boss now. I apologize. I pay you in credit for inconvenience. We sit, we talk. No guns. If we cannot do this, we do this hollow. It is simple. Contact me when you want answers. I know about the doctor. And that's where we're going to end for the night. Nice. All right. Oh, boy. Man. The shit side down. <laughs> shit side down. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Very nice. Hit me like a hit me like a thunderbolt right there. Yeah. Bolt from the brown. <laughs> from the brown. Uh, who knew shopping was gonna be so dangerous? I mean I think we all did. Yeah. I think oh, we man, all did. That's, yeah. It's the best. I mean, I'm surprised I didn't get infected earlier. <laughs> it's the best. That's how you do it. All right, I don't uh, know when we even play next because uh, we're entering the dog days of summer, so yes, I will post that. Um, I don't think I even listed the next one. So we'll come back around to that. Keep your eye on Discord, everybody. If you've been following us, we've noticed that we've been getting views on YouTube, so thanks. Uh, if you're part of that audience, <laughs> we greatly appreciate it. That's super cool of you. Um, I don't know if we're doing Starfinder justice, but we are enjoying it. So that's what oh, yeah, we are. And yeah. uh, we hope this to go a long way. I know I don't want to speak for Clint. So Clint 
has cool stuff to show. I don't know when it's coming. Is that fair to say? In terms of the rest of you guys, what are your thoughts? No, there? no, no. The, the thing we've seen, is there a way that people see that eventually? Possibly. Possibly. Yeah. I thought there might be something. So, yeah. sorry to be cryptic, right? audience, but there's a cool thing. So, uh, mm -hmm. uh, that, that's it. Um, what's happening next? Somebody go.